back, everyone, to the Galaxy's favorite talk show. As always, I'm your host, Nick, joined by my co-host, Joshua. Hello, everyone. We are coming hot off of uh, the year 2023. Our last episode, we talked about our favorite movies of that year. It was actually a pretty, a really good year for movies, honestly. It but it's a new year. Uh, we're a bit past January just because, you know, stuff was happening. I was moving. Next Josh meeting. went on a Josh went on a cruise, I think. I did. Bro, you did. saw the Impractical Jokers. Bro, they were on the cruise. Eric Andre was on the cruise. Like they were everyone was just walking around, bro. Dude. Dude, Steve so was cool. there. Carl and what? I got a picture with him. Yeah, dude. We we just saw him on the on like the main deck by the pools and we like walked up to him and we were like, yo, and he was like, Oh, what's up? What's up, guys? And He's then like, oh shit. <laughs> we were, and then we got a picture with him. Um we also got a picture with Murr. We actually got a picture of all of them, but like Murr and Steve-O were the only ones that we ran into. I also ran into Sal, um, but he was like walking like toward the stage. Like he had a show to perform and he like, I guess he didn't know how to get through the back entrance or whatever. So he he literally said like, oh, like I, I wish I could take a picture. He was like, sorry, like I, I got to get on stage. Like, I didn't know how to fucking get back there. And I was like, oh, you good. But he like dabbed me up real quick and then yeah. went in the back. Dude, that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a nice experience. They sound as cool as they, as they, as they are, bro. Yeah, be they, they're they're pretty funny. We got to see a show on board too. Eric Andre did his show live. Um, there were just like you know events like constantly on the boat, and then we got to the Bahamas. We got to do whatever we wanted on the in the Bahamas for a day. Pretty cool. I uh, but then we I came back and I got COVID. Damn. Yeah. Bro. I, I wasn't sure if you were going to drop the co- the COVID allegations. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> It, well, it's still a, it's low key just it's like a virus now it's like a flu like, yeah I get it we, yeah we it sounds sick. like you recovered pretty quick though yeah it took me like a week I I went to school Monday and then Tuesday and then I have two classes but there's a big gap in between them I came back home after my first one took a test and I was positive so I stayed home for the rest of the week damn it actually kind of sucked because I had already missed a week before of school but I had let all my professors know like hey I'm sorry like. I didn't tell him I was going on a cruise, but I was like, I can't yeah. get out of this. I was like, you know, like, I'm sorry, like, I won't be here. And they're like, oh, that's okay. Like, we'll work with you. We'll send you the work, and and then I go and do it again the next week. And I'm, but like, I show, I sent them all pictures of my test. I'm like, dude, I'm COVID positive, bro. I'm so sorry. And they were like, yeah. I mean, they they can't. They I got an excuse, you know. So yeah, damn. It just kind of sucks because like the last like couple days like even today like i've been like grinding to like catch up on all the late work bro yeah i bet that must suck missing like pretty much like just being out of the classroom for so long yeah two weeks yeah hey but we back we're locked in yeah we're we're back this is the first uh the first episode of the new uh, new season of cosmic kickback we're going to be looking forward into the year 2024 i'm not gonna lie when i thought about putting this list together uh of like stuff coming out this year. Like I know some stuff that I've been anticipating, but I'm like, is there anything really that big that I really want to see like Superman legacy or like the Batman? Like, yeah. does this year have any heavy hitters? I think this year has one heavy hitter for me. Mm. Is that Dune? Oh shit. I haven't seen, I haven't even seen Dune one. Oh, or is that rebel moon part two? Oh hell no. It's not that. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not that one. Jeez. Um, um, well, we missed yeah, January. The- so yeah. we can maybe touch on like, there's like two things maybe i don't know if you want to talk about all of them yeah i got yeah we'll we'll just go through january just to talk about like what's coming out and i mean there's still all this stuff, stuff is that, already out yeah i still kind of want to see you can see some on streaming some can be on a uh, in theaters yeah. but we're going to go through this chronologically so each month we're just going to go from the first all the way to the last like which comes out from first to last that month uh we got some tv shows that come out in late 2024 yeah, they, um, they don't got release dates as of now, so we'll just yeah. list those near the end of the, the Yeah, year. we're putting them out near the end. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We can just All get right. started if you want. All right, All right. you can, you can so, pop through January real quick since this is already yeah. passed. Going through the most anticipated movies, January. Um, on Netflix, we had The Society of the Snow that came out, which is a, a real story about the, I think they were from Chile, these people that took a plane and they got lost in the Andes Mountains. Mm, had okay. to eat had to eat people to survive dude it's Damn. actually kind of like that rick and morty skit that we oh <laughs> i mean i guess it's not a skit but oh my god it's almost like that fucking episode but like the real thing yeah i i want to see it. it it actually had a lot of awards won 
Uh, then we got Night Swim, which is a I guess a horror movie about a pool. Yeah, I heard about uh, this. We got the Book of Clarence, which I think is like a a biblically like I guess some type of story set during the the Bible's era. Mm, um, but yeah. it's got the dude from uh Sorry to Bother You in it, the Keith Stanfield. I think oh, uh okay. Caleb McLaughlin's in it. He's in uh Stranger Things. Okay, okay. Um, then Mean Girls came out. The, hey, the musical. It's, yeah, it's a musical. It's based off of a play. I guess the theater. Yeah, the theater I play that. I want to see this name? honestly. Still. Yeah. Like I don't expect it to be anything like as good as the movie, but I'm interested. You know. Uh, yeah, I'm interested too. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Um. Then we got ISS. Do uh, not know what this I is. Just a space movie. I saw a couple promos for it, and people were just saying, "Like, bro, this just looks so fucking bland." <laughs> well, like, they were they were just roasting the name. They were like ISS, like like that's it, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Well, January is typically like the dumping grounds for like movies that the studios are kind of like, ah, oh, damn, like these. We don't know. We they're not that confident, so they kind of just throw them in January, you know? Yeah, because like award season is usually like like the springtime of the following year so if it gets released like around this season it's kind of just like sleepers mm, and i mean yeah. sleepers as in like movies that like you know people won't really care if you miss it or whatever um and then the last the last movie of january this is already out i've already seen this six times no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> it's called miller's girl oh hell yeah. okay i didn't know what this was until i was on twitter or tiktok and i saw someone recording this movie in the theater uh, it has Jenna Ortega, Martin Freeman. Um, it's, I guess she's like a, a girl, a student who's like fantasizing about her teacher. But I, the clip I that I know. saw, the, the clip that I saw, it was literally like, it was her fantasizing about the teacher, Martin Freeman. And she's like on the bed. She's like turning around and he's like, you can, you can see you're going to do something. And then literally someone in the theater, bro, not the one that the person that was recording, but like off off screen, you just see like a flash go off. Like someone was taking <laughs> photos. Bro. Oh, yo. I was just like, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I, I don't recognize any of the. I was like, what? <laughs> what project is this, bro? Like, I know Jenna Ortega hasn't been in that much. And so I looked it up and I was like, oh, it just came out this year. It's, it's called Miller's Girl. Uh, it's another. Another weird Hollywood movie about fetishizing teachers i don't know it's it's odd it's like okay so i've seen i mean jenna obviously agreed to it so maybe she sees something in it maybe maybe there's more to it i don't know uh but... i don't i know i i, I saw reviews people were giving this shit like ones and twos bro like this looks like it's, it looks like it's a stinker but i mean <laughs> the only i've seen the clip you talked about but i've also seen um there's a clip where i guess the plot of it is he's a college professor for english and the girl's like trying to write something that'll like blow him away so she writes about like him fucking her i think and then he's like yo like this is unacceptable or whatever and then she's like <laughs> like nah or i don't know i don't know if they fuck i don't know what happens i just know that like this seems like a porn plot you know like it's very yeah yeah i mean nick will be seated yeah i mean so i already, I already got was tickets. Yeah, I guess sir. We got some more tickets. We're seeing it actually after this. Yeah, we're actually gonna go right after, bro. So we gotta we gotta up hurry soon. up though so we yeah. can make the show time. <laughs> all right, that's, uh, all that's right. January. Let's get into February where we're at right now. Yeah, let's get into February. This is fresh. Um so February second, we got Argyle. Um mm -hmm. this movie actually looks like a lot of fun, dude. The cast, it's got Brian Cranston, um, it's got Henry Cavill, John Cena, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, John Cena, Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa? Yeah, Dua, Duolingo. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's pretty much a spy movie, but I think the twist on it is she's an author who writes about these characters and like they're coming to life. Like, yeah. And then I, I think these people are hunting her down to like make her like write the books a certain way, but I don't know. It looks pretty fun. Um, I actually kind of wanted to see this just because of Henry Cavill. If, if you've seen the trailers, his haircut looks funny. Um, and this is also directed by Matthew Vaughn, who's done Kingsman, a um, bunch of other action movies, Kick-Ass. So, you know, it could be fire. 
Yeah, I know Mike recently saw it. He was on the last episode with us, and he said that it was. Oh. He said it was pretty fun. Um, he pretty much said the same thing as you. I didn't want to know much about it because it looks like there's like, you know, twists and turns and just like fun spy hijinks, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it looks interesting. Yeah, I'll probably see. Um, it. going on, we got a Mister and Mrs. Smith TV show. This has a uh, Donald Glover yep. and. I'm blanking on the other lady's name, dude. I feel so bad. I do as well. Um, but I heard that came out recently. I like Donald Glover, so maybe I'll check that out. Uh, February 4th, we got Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, I didn't know the show was actually still going on, bro. But the <laughs> final the final season is uh, is upon us. Yeah. I guess, I mean, if you're hype. I've heard the show's good. I heard it's funny, but I've just never got into it myself. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of funny clips from it. Yeah. Um, next we got Lisa Frankenstein. I actually saw the trailer for this. It actually looks pretty funny. I did too. Have you, have you heard about this? I saw the trailer at Draft House, yeah. Yeah. It's got the chick from uh uh Quantumania. Oh, and... it's her. Oh yeah, it is her. I didn't even realize till now. And it has Cole Sprouse. And I Wait, think she brings is she Cole brings... Sprouse the, the, the Frankenstein monster? Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't even recognize him. What the hell? It's pretty much like a Frankenstein love story. Yeah. And the girl brings him back to life. What what caught my attention is this is this directed by Zelda Williams, the uh, daughter of Robin Williams. Mm. And that was I, I was like, oh shit, that. yeah, that's that's what really caught my eye. I was like, oh damn, like she's directing this, like that's cool. Like that made me more intrigued to see it uh, than I was before, you know. Yeah, damn, I did not know that. Um, yes, next we got Cobweb, which is a horror film, I believe. Yeah, it's. It's got Anthony. It's got Homelander in it, bro. That's all you need. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that's that's all you gotta know about it. Yeah, I I might not uh, go to theaters, but it says it says VOD, you know, on VOD. So like, I might have to just like, VOD. I might have to just VOD. I thought. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that just means video on demand, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Like if if it's not if it's like five bucks, you know, I I got the home theater now set up. You know, I I don't gotta go to the theater for everything. VOD. <laughs> um next we got bob marley one love this is a biopic that mm-hmm. comes out uh on valentine's day actually yes sir um, I'm recording this yeah i saw the trailer for this um it looks really good i i was actually like kind of blown away about like the production and the sound design behind mm-hmm. the trailer and i was like this is actually cool i like yeah. bob marley i'd love to know his origin story and stuff i think every artist <laughs> kind of origin story <laughs> i mean like because you just <laughs> You just know about a musician from where they're at, right? Like, yeah. If I you're would not just like, be a, like oh. if you're not like a diehard fan and know everything about them, like you know, you just you know you like them for the music. You don't know like right. the story. Yeah, I, I'm um, interested in it. I'll probably see it. Yeah, it it looks good to me. Um, oh, then damn. same day, What's next, same bro? day, same day. Yes, sir, <laughs> bro. This is literally the next Barbenheimer, bro. You got <laughs> Madam Web. Yes, sir. It's Madam Webuary. Let's go. <laughs> i don't even know if i care bro dude no nah, hang on we gotta talk about this a little bit more than than we did for cobweb bro we're not just gonna sweep by <laughs> madam web this yeah, is crazy actually there's two spider movies coming yeah out. so oh um, yeah madam movie... web man let's do it <laughs> okay so i don't give a shit about this movie uh i'm gonna i'm literally seeing it just because we have this podcast <laughs> like, if we Same. did it i probably wouldn't see it like unless it came on streaming and i was just had nothing else to watch um i mean i'll give every anything a chance but from the trailer this just it looks like a cw show i think we've said this before on an yeah, earlier episode it looks really corny it does and the ryan dude there's been not like leaks but there's been like like picture i guess it is a leak technically but like people are predicting because uh peter parker's uncle uncle ben is in the movie played by adam scott from parks and rec and other things what yeah he, that he, fucking guy he's playing a younger version of uncle ben when ben i guess was like i don't know what he is but i don't know how big his role is gonna be but people are predicting that the plot of the movie is that some spider thing is trying to kill uncle ben early and then that'll affect spider-man because he can't have his official origin story because uncle ben's not there so they think that's what it is um but the big thing that everybody is like talking about <laughs> is there's a there's a behind the scenes photo where it looks like they're eating like chinese takeout 
and Uncle Ben is holding a fortune cookie. And people oh are saying that they think the fortune is going to say, with great power comes great responsibility. And that's where they got those fucking lines from a bro. fortune cookie. <laughs> I heard that they were going to change the quote entirely, bro. Dude, I honestly, like, I I hope they, I'd rather them do that than, like, diminish Uncle Ben's words to a fortune cookie. Like, dude. <laughs> That's, I, yeah, that's stupid, bro. I don't know. I, this movie just looks dumb, and we don't even know when it's set. I, I, it seems like it's set in the early 2000s because of people were saying that they have billboards up from old Calvin Klein campaigns from the early 2000s. Mm. So it looks like they were originally trying to make this be canon to either Toby's Spider-Man or Andrew's Spider-Man. At one point, even Tom Holland's, but then they were like, none of that makes sense. So let's just make it in the Venom universe, I guess. So then they, they that's what a lot of the reshoots were for and the editing was for. But yeah, hey, Madam Webdwary, it's coming out. Um, did you see Dakota Johnson's uh, JOI? Oh, the joy? Dude, yeah, I've seen it six times as well. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, like Bro, explain, I, explain the joy thing. I want to. Okay, so can I say that on the podcast? Can I say what it stands for? Or should I just have anyone just go look it up if they want to know? Doesn't Joy stand for like jerk off instructions? Okay, well Nick said it. Right? Yeah, that's what it's that's what it stands for. I mean, I'm asking. No, I yeah, don't that, know. yeah, that is what it stands for. It's I had to like, guess. It, it, it's like I guess a like people get off to hearing people tell them what to do. Like you know, and you yeah. know what you know what I mean. You know what they're telling them yeah, what yeah. to do. Yeah, but it's it's weird because I mean we I might throw the clip in in the podcast right here just so you can like for you guys own entertainment. Jeez. Um. Okay, so I'll throw it in. So, while my character in the movie may be able to see the future, I also can. And I know what the future brings. I know that when you see Madam Web, you're going to love it. In fact, I think you're going to see it twice. All right, that was cool. Um, <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, you see what I mean now. It's it's literally just her like saying, like, oh, you're going to love it. Like, you're going to see it. And I've I've seen so many people be like, I was on the fence, so I wasn't going to see it. It's like, I am seated now. Like, I'm like, bro. <laughs> the promotion Jeez. is just so funny. Like, someone must have told her, like, hey, we need you to, like, you know, amp up the uh, the appeal a bit. You're like, come on, you got to really get these guys in the theaters. <laughs> Please reach I mean, out to your Fifty Shades of Grey fan base. Low key, bro. I mean... Hey, it got us talking about it, right? So I guess it, it did its I know, job. Dude. God damn it, it worked. No. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's that's a way more talk than we should have for Madam Web. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. I just I just love anytime Sony releases something, bro, because it's it's either absolute shit or it's it's okay. Well, we're you know, getting two Sony Spider Man movies. Or not even it's Spider Man without that's, Spider Man. That's crazy. This year. If you think about it, there's more Marvel movies coming out from Sony this year than yeah. the than Marvel Studios. Yep. Yes, yes, sir. We'll talk All about right. the other one later, but yeah, we'll we might re- we might review this if Nick goes and sees it because I know I will be seated. Hey, I don't I know what I'm doing for Valentine's Day, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna lie to Chelsea and be like, yeah, we're going to see a you know the Taylor Swift concert. They'll be like, oh, I got, just... I got us a nice reservation. Like dress dress really nice. Like and you're in a suit, she's in a dress. You guys are all dolled up, and then like you pull up to the theater, and she's like, what? And then you walk in a Madam Web. You're like, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Jeez. Okay. Next in February, following uh, Madam Web, we got Spaceman. Uh, mm-hmm. I think Josh added this. It's got mm-hmm. Adam Sandler and Paul Dano. Um, what is this? It plays the alien spider from the beginning of time. So I haven't seen the trailer. I've just heard. I saw like a picture of this weird alien spider thing. And I heard that Paul Dano is the voice, so I was like, "Damn, like that sounds kind of funny." And and Ad- and uh, Adam Sandler is like an astronaut. Mm. Oh. So I don't even know if I I think it's supposed to be more comedic. I mean, that's what it, it sounds comedic to me, you know. Dude, I know, yeah. So Come on. I don't know. I just thought I'd throw it on there. Yeah, I mean, why not? That's honestly yeah. a pretty interesting pairing for a cast. Yep. Uh, two days at later, we're getting a. Uh, on Netflix, the live-action Avatar The Last Airbender. Let's talk about this for a minute, because actually there's been a little controversy surrounding it. I've, I've heard some controversy. Um, I was excited for this. I was as I, well. I think I kind of still am. 
Um, even after long ago, we heard that the original creators of the animated series stepped out. I was like, you know, okay, maybe there was just creative differences. Um, but it came out recently that they were changing a couple things. Um, one of them was they were taking away Sokka's uh, sexism, I guess, like from his character. Yeah. Uh, people were upset at that just because they were saying like by the end of the show or even like just throughout the show, it it really plays into his character arc. Yeah. Um, and I agree. I feel like taking away the flaws of a character kind of just it, it. It makes it kind of harder for them to grow and stuff. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. How do you feel about this? I mean, I completely agree. The moment I heard that one, and there's been some other ones too, but that's the biggest like main one, I think. Yeah. Um, it makes no sense to me because like, like, as you said, like there's a whole like arc with Sokka. And in the beginning when he meets like the Kyoshi warriors, mm-hmm. which is like an all women, like, um, like a group of warriors. And one of them was the avatar in the past. And there's just like, this huge role where like he ends up like dating one of them and in the beginning they obviously don't like each other because Sokka is sexist and they all kind of like beat his ass you know Loki they help him out and they're but they're not you know there's like a whole arc where he learns to respect women as equal like warriors because he meets them he falls in love with one of them and like it's just like a whole thing you know and to like take it out it's like so I, I, it just makes no sense because that that's like his main arc. You know what I mean? So he just I guess he doesn't have an arc anymore. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I feel like, like I, I don't like how we're entering this territory where it's like, oh, like we we want to get rid of sexism. Let's just take it out of movie and TVs entirely. I feel like that does the opposite effect. Like you should put it like face front on TV. Be like this. This is sexism. This character, you know, is going to change over time. And this I is going to show you, like, I don't know, it, it's just a, a better way of teaching and, like, educating. And, yeah, and it also think, just doesn't take away from, like, the, the truth. And, like, yeah, the, I think Sokka's was done very well, too, in the original show. Like, yeah, the whole show has great character arcs throughout the whole, like, show. Like, it's it's a very, I was excited to see it brought to live action when I heard that the original creators were involved. I was like, oh, hell yeah, we're finally going to get something good and not what, you know, the other thing we got. Um. But yeah, now after hearing this, I'm a little worried. I'll still watch it. I'll, I think so too. I'll, I'll watch it. You know, I'll have an open, an open mind to it. But we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, the casting looked really good. Honestly, like all of the uh, the different um, the different characters and stuff that they casted, I thought they were pretty spot on. I agree. Uh, but moving on, uh, we got two days later. I'm sorry, six days later. I have no idea what this is. Code eight, part two. This is you, bro. Part one. This is all me. I thought you left this on the list, so I was like, okay, I guess Nick knows what this is. I got no idea what this (laughs) is, bro. Um, yeah, let's just skip past it, bro. We're in March. Okay, let's go to March. Forget that last part. Uh, (laughs) March first, we got we got what was taken from us last year. We're finally getting Dune Part Two in IMAX. So have you seen Dune? No. (laughs) (laughs) But I I heard that shit good. No. We should watch it in the theater room, bro. We we should. We really should. Yeah, I got the setup now. I was telling Carlo, too, like, just the other day, I was like, Dune 2 is coming out. And from what I've heard, a lot of people have said, I don't know any spoilers for Dune, Mm. but I have heard people say that it's kind of like, like a... Like, not all, like, it's not all just set up, but they said that, like, it is, like, gearing up for Dune 2, and that's where things are going to get crazy. So I was yeah. like, oh, shit, like, I, I've been I've been slacking for, like, two years now. It's time to finally watch this, you know? Hey, there's going to be a third one, too. Uh, yeah, bro, this is, like, supposed to be Dune the modern-day Star Wars. I think it's just going to be a trilogy, and then Denny, Denny Villano said he was going to, like, do something else. Mm. Um which I think is cool. I mean, I like that this is his own little like Batman trilogy. Like, dude, yeah. I just love his directing style, bro. He's oh, I do oh, too. Dude. Like, no one makes stuff like him, bro. I agree. I agree. That's why he's the ghost. <laughs> All right, Nick, tell Jeez. us March seventh. We're getting Ricky <laughs> Stanicky. What is this? All right, man. So six days later, y'all are gonna get to enjoy Ricky Stanicky. Okay. This is gonna come out on Prime. Um, so this has Zac Efron, a uh, couple other you know standard joe's john cena's in this so the plot of the movie 
it pretty much revolves around these three friends. And what they do is they lie to their fiancés. They pretend to get, like, this call from, like, their friend called Ricky Stanicki. And mm-hmm. they'll pretend that he's sick. And so they have to go visit him in another country. And that's just their excuse to go out and, like, pretty much party and do shit. Like, they go to, like, uh, I think, like, I don't know. They they just do beach trips and, like, just guy trips. And it's pretty much a cover. But then when their family mm. comes to the hospital and they're like, yo, like, where's your friend Ricky? Like, we were worried about you guys. They don't want to be caught in the lie. So they hire this dude who works at a strip club. Um, and oh it's John God. Cena. <laughs> and he he plays Ricky Sinicki the whole movie. And they just get into a bunch of stupid ass shit. And I don't know. It, it sounds so stupid, but it just feels like one of those 2000s like, movies. Like, like, no hard feelings. Like, it's just like, dude, like, I'm down. Like, John Cena's already in it. Let's go. You know, what actually, you I know what this is now. I haven't seen the trailer for it, but I've heard about it. And I heard it's like, I, what I saw is people were like, oh shit, like, Zac Efron is back in like a bro comedy type thing. And I was like, oh shit, like, yeah, like he was in like Neighbors and like, you know, other other movies. Like, this this looks kind of funny. It is pretty funny, dude. I mean, so, from yeah. the trailer, it, it looks pretty hilarious. But I remember reading the comments and people were like, they were low-key mad at the movie because they were like, dude, the point. Like, the whole plot revolving around a, a fake name called Ricky Stanicki, <laughs> and nobody doubted this dude's existence. <laughs> it's fucking bonkers. Oh, man. Oh. It sounds funny. I'll probably be seated. Yeah. Oh, you can catch it on streaming. <laughs> so, then we got, uh, next day, March 8th, we got Imaginary. Okay, this what is, this? is This is a horror movie um, that I, I don't know who it's directed by, but it's by Blumhouse. So, they've done, you know... Five Nights at Freddy's, Megan, the the whole list goes on. Yeah. But it follows this girl who moves back into her childhood home, and she finds her teddy bear, and it's pretty much like Toy Story, but haunted, like horror. Oh, okay. All right. So it's, it's kind of like Megan, I guess, a little bit, but just I with still toys. I see Megan, yeah. I'll probably, I'll pro- I like horror movies, you know, I give it a shot. Yeah. Next, we got Love Lies Bleeding. Um, This is a film that's got Kristen Stewart in it. Um, who else? It's got Katie O'Brien, Ed Harris. Yeah. Um, and this is kind of like a <laughs> people were calling it like the Iron Claw, but for lesbians. Oh, is this the the A twenty four film? Yeah, it's like oh, okay, run away, this. run away. Oh, yeah, like yeah. the trailer. It's a pretty good trailer, honestly. Um, it's it does not show much. It's, it's directed by Rose Glass. Um, and yeah, it's an A twenty four movie. It's okay. it looks pretty cool. It's crime A24 drama. A twenty four is all I need to know. I know, yeah. I I don't <laughs> doubt them and their powers in picking good films and stuff to distribute. Yes, sir. Uh, so I think I'll see that as well. Um, <laughs> Josh, you want to get this next one? Dude, did you put this on the list? <laughs> the next we got uh, okay. is is the American Society of Magical Negroes. Okay. I don't know. I don't know anything about this except that Justice Smith from uh, Detective Pikachu's in it, and he gets mm-hmm. recruited to this society. Of magical Negroes. Is this like a fictional movie or is this like supposed to, is it like non fiction? What? It's no, non fiction. No, bro, hang on, hang on. You get what I'm I'm asking. I get what you're saying. Yeah, is like, this is a, a movie a... about like magic? Like, is it like Harry Potter, but like they're black? Or is it like, is this like, is it just a name? Is that just the title and it's actually yeah, it's about. Just, it... It's just like a catchy title. I'll give it okay, just, okay. It's, well, uh, I genuinely was wondering. No, 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 no. That's so funny. <laughs> um, no, yeah. I, I think it's a. It's supposed to be like a funny, like, like movie. Okay. Actually, let me let me read into this real quick. Uh, Damn, March is kind of heavy with releases. I know March is pretty heavy. Honestly, when you look at that. Um, March was going to get. I want to just get this out of the way. We were mm-hmm. going to get Mickey 17, which I was so excited for, bro. And now that that release date is just like, we don't know when it's coming out. Dude, I I was literally so hyped for it, bro. Like Bong Joon-ho, yep. Parasite, Memories of Murder, and, yep. and Robin Pattinson was going to be in this. Like, Oh, bro. I was so excited, bro. And then I don't know what happened, but as long as I know it's still coming out this year, I'll I hope I'll it comes so- out this year. I'll be I, I I know it was indefinitely delayed because of the strikes last year. Mm-hmm. So I don't know when it will be back. And I, I hope they, they figure something out soon. But I just wanted to like mention that. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, moving on. We got Remembering Gene Wilder. Uh, okay. It's releases in theaters. I'm not sure if it'll be on streaming. Probably. So like, a, like a documentary. Yeah, about his life. I'm sure it's a documentary about Gene Wilder and his, and his acting career and his life. Okay. Uh, that sounds pretty interesting, honestly. I love when those come out just because yeah. I feel like very often you get to see an actor, like an artist, just, just kind of be like behind the, like off screen, you know, like just candid moments and stuff. Just be vibing. I know, dude. Uh, then next we got Arthur the King. This is a a dog movie about, I think a dog that leads a group of people doing a, I guess like a triathlon. It's got Mark Wahlberg. It's got Simu Liu. <laughs> um, I I saw trailers for it. It looks pretty cool. I don't know. My mom might go see it. She she loves dogs. Um, next next we got Roadhouse. Um, oh, I'm actually fucking excited for this. One. I'm actually this is I'm very I'm actually this is I'm really excited for, for this one. Yeah, this is <laughs> yo. It um, is, bro. I'm telling you, this I this so year, too, and this is in my top, at least top five. Hey, calling it now? Like, like I'm saying that, like most anticipated. It's in my top five most yeah. anticipated. Like, I'm excited for this. So, this is, I guess you could say, a, a remake from the the 1980s movie Roadhouse yeah. that the that had Patrick Swayze. I saw the trailer for this one. Pretty much, it's got Jake Gyllenhaal. He's a, I guess, an ex fighter or like an ex military dude uh who's homeless and he gets hired to be the i guess the muscle or like the bouncer of this club called roadhouse uh conor mcgregor's in it there's a bunch of a bunch of action it just looks like a stupid fun movie man um yeah. it's just action wise it looks like jake gyllenhaal like really trained and like learned how to fight for this because like even though like it's not um obviously real like it, i the 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 movements and stuff like the techniques i it just it looks like they really like went into this role you know yeah i i always appreciate his dedication bro like i don't think anyone works hard like him yeah and i actually am a little disappointed because i heard that they were shopping this around because although it, it's going to premiere on prime video on a streaming thing and they were trying to get it in theaters and they couldn't from what i've heard mm. That would have been cool, dude. I so yeah, that kind of sucks. I don't know if that's because of the quality of the movie. I mean, it, to me, it looks like I'm excited for this. You know, I I wish I could go see this in theaters. Yeah. So I yeah, don't know what happened that's... there. Maybe the studios were just like cheaping out, you know, and they were like, you know, how it is. That's terrible because like I know like Prime is part of Amazon. They're like yeah. a trillion dollar corporation. I know they oh, could yeah. have money to just put this in theaters, even for like a limited time. Yeah, for real. Hopefully they I, do I feel that. Like... Yeah, I feel like if streaming services do that, like how Netflix puts movies out, like even if it's limited, like it's still just good, like, what's the word? It's good publicity for the movie, like just to get it out, you know? Yeah, and we found out why Netflix releases it for like a limited time. It's so they can get, yeah, put it in just enough so they can get qualified for awards. Yeah. So maybe, maybe Prime will do the same, even though this isn't going to have a full release. Maybe it'll get a limited one. We'll see. Yeah, Prime should do that. That would be pretty badass. Yeah. All right. Next up, we got the, I guess this is the third Ghostbuster movie. Is this the the second or the third one, bro? It's the second of the new ones. It's the fourth if you're, oh, fourth if you're including the original two. Fifth if you're including the reboot. Oh, God. No, no. Nah. Bro, <laughs> that one does not exist. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so this is a direct sequel to the one that we talked about a couple years back. Um, the one that had Paul Rudd in it. Mm -hmm. And we actually thought it was, you know, not that bad. I remember we were like, oh, solid, solid, fun movie. I thought it was pretty solid, too. Yeah. So um, I, I'm excited for this. It looks like Dan Aykroyd's back. Um, Bill Murray's here. <laughs> um, he's here. Well, because he's always like, like he, he had fun in the first one. But I think since this since Ghostbusters became a franchise, he's kind of just like, I think he's been like, dude, I don't want to be here, bro. Like, he's, I'll take some like, money. Fuck. Yeah. So, but I mean, I'm excited, bro. I like, I like Ghostbusters. Uh, I like Paul Rudd. You know, so let's let's lock in. Let's lock in. <laughs> uh, same day, we got the X Men '97 series coming out. Did you watch the old X Men like '90s animated show at all? Yeah. Yeah, I saw a couple, a couple episodes. episodes. Yeah. So, I guess it's supposed to be like a continuation of that. So. Hey, we'll see. That'd be pretty cool. What, whether if they like kind of soft reboot it or like retcon it. I, yeah. I, I love the animation style of that era. Yeah, they I should just keep that. Really if, well. Yeah, if they just keep the animation style, I'll be more than happy with that. Dude, totally. All right. 
at the end of March, we got Godzilla X Kong. We got another movie, The New Empire. Yes, sir. We're getting Godzilla and Kong and their mates now, bro. Didn't we just get a Godzilla movie last year? Yeah, but that one was from Japan. That one went, th- see, that one went hard. That was a really good movie. I don't think you've seen it yet. I'd highly recommend it. Just like oh, an dude. overall, like, great movie. This is like the inverse. This is like the dumb turn off your brain like action like godzilla and king kong are fucking running full speed of a spear in their hand you know <laughs> like God- godzilla's shooting like pink flames now like i don't even know what's going on so i i i could do both you know i could i like to sit down and enjoy a nice like candle lit five star meal every now and then. and then i also like to just grub down on some taco pee some mcdonald's you know what i mean like you gotta you gotta have both this is a mcdonald's movie <laughs> I mean, let's, let's call it what it is that's kind of funny i mean it's um, it's it's an expensive mcdonald's movie still like you know i'm sure it probably costs more than the other godzilla movie did but this this one's here for action reasons like very clearly are these the ones that have millie bobby brown and shit yeah it's that universe uh, i don't think she's in this one though yeah i was gonna say she should be doing stranger things bro finish that up yeah she's busy bro they need to how the hell are they making Stranger Things and like no none of the kids have died? Dude, I don't know. Someone, dude, they should have killed Dustin like two seasons ago. Oh, I thought you meant in real life. I was like, what? <laughs> what? No. Like just like you're saying the actors just haven't. Passed How are they away. not dead yet, bro? <laughs> How none of them died? <laughs> God. No, um, I thought they were gonna kill off one of the kids, but like they just they don't. It seemed like they know. were gonna kill off Sadie. Sadie oh, Sink's yeah. character, what's her? I don't remember her character's name. I just know her. Uh, yeah, Sam? I, w- I wanted to say Sam, too. <laughs> I don't know what it dumb. is. I thought she was going to die, but then they were like, oh, no, nah, she's just blind or deaf or something. And then I thought they were going to kill uh, Caleb McLaughlin's character as well. And they didn't kill oh, yeah. either of them. They were both just, they're good. Bro's alive. Yeah. Anyway, same day as Godzilla X Kong, we're getting Kung Fu Panda 4. Dude, let's go. I dude, I don't even think I've seen the third one. I know I've seen the first two and they were good, but I never saw the third one. I don't think I've seen the third, but I heard it's good. And then this one, I heard it's gonna be Poe training someone else to be he's pretty much in Shifu's place now. Mm. He's like training the next dragon warrior. Okay, that's um, interesting. And I don't know. I love Jack Black. I yeah, love I the whole too. the music of Kung Fu Panda is badass. I'll have so. to rewatch the trilogy before going and seeing this. Dude. Yep. I heard, uh, I think in this one, actually, Tai Lung, he was the villain from the first one. He's coming back, too. I heard that as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm hype. All right, we're in All April right. now, right? Yes. April. What is this? The first Omen. So I think this is based off of the that movie from the 80s. Have you, have you heard of it? It's called The Omen. Yeah, so this is like a prequel to The Omen. I haven't seen The Omen. I just know this is a prequel to it. It's pretty good. Like, pretty much this kid, like, I think he either gets possessed or he's, like, the son of Satan. Yeah, something like and that. And he, like, kills people. Damn. And, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, The first Omen actually is really good. Like, the opening scene is scary as fuck. Yeah, I've, I've heard The Omen, like, the OG one is really good. I've heard a lot of people say that. It's on my list of horror movies to watch. Yeah. We'll see how this one holds up. Um, Nick, what's the always... next movie? <laughs> you want to say it bro i mean we got monkey man monkey man's coming out i think i've oh. heard of this Let oh wait never it. wait oh yeah so this this i haven't seen the trailer but it's like dev patel i think or dave dev patel like he's directing it and mm-hmm. he he's from he the was green in rogue, knight was he yeah, green knight yeah was was he in rogue one or is that someone else no, you're thinking of the the other dude from The Sound of Metal, but oh yeah, you I, are, I know who he yeah, is. You're right, yeah. But no, yeah, yeah. Th- this is the guy from, um, like you said, Green Knight, and um, producing this is Jordan Peele. So like, mm. I'm I'm very interested in this. There's a trailer for it. You can go watch it. It looks like heavily inspired by like John Wick type movies, you know? Yeah, I heard it's supposed to be like John Wick, but like take place in Mumbai or something like that. Like it's pretty much like Bollywood John Wick. Yeah, so like, I mean, shit, I'll be seated, bro. I, you got Dev, Dev Patel, and Jordan Peele, like that's enough for me. And a yeah, monkey, honestly. like, bro, come on. <laughs> and a monkey man. <laughs> All right, Nick, you, right, you got to do the next two because I don't know what these are. Um, the, next the next one is called the People's Joker. 
Yeah, what does that mean? I really, I'm clicking on the IMDb thing. It says an inspire, an aspiring clown grappling with her gender identity, combats a fan, a fascist caped crusader. It's supposed to be like Batman and Joker, but it's it's like a different. I don't know. It's like a retelling or something like that. All right, we could skip that. Um, yeah, it looks a little <laughs> weird. No lie. <laughs> the next one I I do know a little bit about. It's Civil yeah. War. It's uh, Alex Garland. Um. It's like Ex a Machina. modern, yeah, and it's like a modern civil war. Like it's like if there was another civil war, but it happened in the modern slash future, like twenty twenty. Yeah, it honestly looks pretty cool. Yeah, um, it's, it's got a uh, Kirsten Dunst is in it. Yes, sir. You know, Toby Maguire's love, love. So, you already know. Um, I mean, yeah, I I like Alex Garland. I'm excited for this movie. I am too. Um, I've seen trailers for it already. It looks pretty cool, just like based on the effects. Um. Oh, it has Jesse Plemons. Oh, okay. He's he's from, really uh, good. Yeah, from Breaking Bad. Yeah. Um. Next up, we got Sting. I, I have think no this idea is what this is. This is also another spider movie, bro. Oh shit. Um. Okay. It's it's about arachnophobia. Um. It's that's all I really gotta know. On spiders. Okay. Yeah, it's a scary. Uh, movie. Around we April as well. I think on the twelfth, actually, we're getting the a Fallout TV show. I'm actually excited about that. I forgot this was happening until I did some research for this list. It's actually going to be on Prime as well. Mm, okay, okay. So if you got a Prime subscription, um, I think they drop episodes weekly. So I'm excited. I mean, I like the Fallout games. I, I'd be interested to see what the TV show follows, like if it's a character or like a certain game. Yeah. Um, I those mean, are Fallout, really cool. Like premise is like very interesting, you know, like the whole like aesthetic where it's like kind of like 50s like if there was like a nuclear like thing there. yeah so all the stuff looks 50s like it's 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 a cool aesthetic it's a i like the idea i think it has potential yeah it's like pretty much what if like the u.s got nuked yeah. around the time of of the atomic bomb yeah um then later that month we got the ministry of ungentlemanly ungentlemanly warfare all i know uh, is that this is a guy richie film yeah, I think this also has Henry Cavill. Oh shit, really? I know. I was surprised because he was in Argyle, and then he's working. also working. He's also working on that Warhammer Forty Thousand. Oh yeah, he's been hyping that up. That'll be good. I know. He said it's like one of the, like the biggest things of his career. Yeah, he was like, "This because... is the the greatest moment of my career right here." And I'm like, "Damn, okay, better be good." Hello. Good. Oh, I was like, "What the fuck just happened?" It got quiet. No, you're good. I was listening. It okay. like cut out for a sec, but I, okay. I heard you. Well, that, that's all I have to um, say on that. I mean, after that, we got in the first skip of the year, we got a Rebel Moon Part Two, The Scar Giver. Uh, you excited for this? I mean, I'm the only one here that's watched Rebel Moon Part One, and oh my god, it was so disappointing. Like, I don't even dislike Zack Snyder. I'm actually, I'd say, I'm way more of an advocate for him than most people are. It seems like. I feel like he yeah. made, he's made good movies. Like I like a good amount. He's made some bad decisions in some movies, but they always look good. You know, I'd say he's definitely more a better director than he is a writer for certain characters. Uh, but I mean, and I think that shows in this because the writing in part one, at least was so fucking bad. Like it was like, Nick, you just have to see it. I think you told me about it. Last we talked episode. about it a lot in the last episode, yeah. I think, but because I think I put it on my top five worst of the year Jeez. last year, but I have hopes for this one because that last one was, didn't even need to be fucking two hours and 20 minutes or however long it was. It could have been, it, it could have been 40 minutes cause it's all just set up. And then this one is where I guess the movie's actually going to start because so because of that, I'm guessing all the like lightsaber fights are in this one. So I'm going to give it a chance because I know Zack Snyder is very good at directing action sequences and he has great visuals. So maybe this one will be better. It, it, I mean, it has the odds are in its favor because the first one was so bad that it's going to be hard to beat that. That's usually the opposite, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the Zack Snyder effect. You already know. Um, all right. Then next up, we got Challengers, which got pushed back uh, from last year. It's that Zendaya movie where... Two white guys are kissing on her. 
Did you like my uh, note? What else can I say? In the notes for it. To remember Josh, what it just, Josh just described it as sexy tennis movie. Because <laughs> I saw it and I, I was like, what is Challengers? And I almost erased it. But then I clicked on it to double check because I was like, it sounds a little familiar. But is it like a space movie? What is it? And then I was like, oh, wait, yeah, it's the sexy tennis movie. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't so, know if I'm gonna see this. So I mean, they're, it, they're trying to have a threesome with Zendaya, and they're all tennis players. Is that what it is? Yeah, I don't know. I <laughs> I hope this isn't like a Saltburn type of movie, bro. Because like, oh man, have you seen Saltburn? I haven't, bro. But I think I've heard just enough, bro. <laughs> like, I, I feel like I would sit down and watch it just because, like, I, I I can do that. But I would still just not like it. I think like, it's I on Prime just, now. You can you can go watch it right now. You can watch it on Prime. Yes, sir. Sponsored by Prime. Um, not the drink. I'm not that excited uh, about this. I it's just kind of, I liked the memes when I saw people like posting the picture of Zendaya like with two dudes like on yeah, her, and then and like Tom like, Holland, Tom Holland right now, yeah. yeah. I, like, I liked those memes. It's like, it's like the uh the Interstellar meme where he's like behind the window. He's like, no, <laughs> yeah. no. <laughs> dude. Imagine dude. having to like go to the movies or watch a trailer and it's just your girl like just two. Yeah, what if Zendaya is like, like, do you want to go see the movie? Oh, like he's man. at the premiere, bro. Like, Tom nah. Holland's just at the premiere. I, 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 think, I, I think I'll I'll head home early, love. That's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just leave. <laughs> oh, Actually, God. this is not a movie release. But Ooh. speaking on Tom Holland, since you brought it up, okay, he is gonna be starring in a Broadway adaptation of Romeo and Juliet this year, um, which is I guess just a weird announcement. But you know, he does like theater. He's an actor. Um, no Spider Man movies coming today or this year, but that's what he's up to. Mm, okay. So he's probably gonna get back at his girl. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> he's, he's probably just like gonna kissing, get back. Like kissing on Juliet. This is why. How, he how like, does that? How does that feel? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he took the role. He's like, ah, yeah. Okay. He's like, <laughs> like, okay. I'm like, all right. Let's move into the summertime. We We're are in done May. with a good chunk of the year. All right, May right in the May. Nick. We're getting the Fall Guy. This is that Ryan Gosling film, correct? Yeah, I'm excited for this. I love Ryan Gosling. I do he plays well. a, a stunt guy pretty much looking for his lost ex-girlfriend. He drives. Um, that, that's all. Yeah, he, dude, I don't <laughs> care. Ryan Gosling, I'm there. Yeah, I agree. That, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I'm excited. He just has that charm of him. New personality uh, will be downloaded. New personality. Dude, <laughs> we need to make a wall and like just cover the whole wall with just photos of Ryan Gosling roles. <laughs> like every like, role. It's like, yeah. Literally me. It's just a big poster. <laughs> That'd be a good t-shirt. It would. Um, all right. Next week, the following after Fall Guy, we got Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. This is the fourth of the new series that came out. Yes. Um, I don't think this is too many movies. I think the original tr- like saga had like maybe four or five movies. Yeah. Um, but all the ones before this, I think have been amazing. And the CGI... Oh, yeah. Uh, and and graphics of movies have just gotten better, so I don't think that this one's going to be any worse, or is going to be at di- any disadvantage. Um, I like this one actually because it's it's pretty much all, they're all monkeys at this point. Like <laughs> society is like overgrown, cities like animals and stuff have come back. Like it's yeah, it's, I think it's on, this some, one, it's on some Lion King shit. Oh it looks yeah, cool. this one lo- I think it's like two hundred years after the end of the last one. So like Jesus. they've they've had a lot of time to like advance. So I'm excited to see where it's at and how. I think they're talking and shit now. Oh yeah, bro, they're all locked in. Yeah. Uh, yeah after that, over. May seventeenth, a week later, we have If, which stands mm-hmm. for Imaginary Friends. This is a movie directed by John Krasinski, and it's got a uh, Ryan Reynolds in it. Yep. Um, and it's pretty much like the the whole premise is: what if your imaginary friends are real? And I this isn't meant to be like a i guess like an r-rated kind of like funny movie you know we already got deadpool coming out yeah it's but a, it's i like think this is supposed film, to be like right? yeah it's supposed to be like a family like kids movie kind of it looks cool i i saw the trailer and i I like the design of some of the toys um because yeah. you know as a kid everyone i i hope had an imaginary friend at just one point so <laughs> I, I feel like it'd be a, a, a kind of funny premise to just be like what would that look like if they were just real yeah i feel you uh, uh i'll probably like, see this um yeah, I don't got much, too much to say about it. <laughs> I know. Uh, um, Nick, what is next. The Strangers Chapter 1? So, The Strangers is a, s- a series of movies that, that, come out, that, that come out every now and then. Maybe like every eight or like five years. They come in spurts. Okay. But the first one was pretty much about these strangers breaking into these people's houses. 
and and torturing him. You know, it's a good two thousands movie. So this then is then we got. I I I think it's a prequel. Oh, um, oh, I'm looking now. Yeah, there's a ton of Strangers movies. What the hell? Yeah, I the one that I remember seeing and that I really liked. It was called Strangers Pray at Night, yeah. and his family pretty much goes to this like trailer park resort and they get hunted down. It's pretty much like a single night uh family versus killers like slasher series okay so um, this is a good, a good old slasher movie yeah and i feel like what's good about them is they've never revealed kind of like the origins of where these these three people came from mm, okay and this um, is like a prequel for that yeah and okay. yeah so I, I think this is going to be about like the formation of the group um i i like these movies they're, they're pretty solid slashers and the soundtrack for the last one was actually really good so you know i'm excited for this one i bet bet um next i'm actually way more excited about this movie coming out fuck the strangers we got <laughs> furiosa a mad max saga this is a movie with uh my fucking ham dude what on, is her name anya bro taylor joy yes anya taylor joy thank you yeah. she's gonna be playing furiosa um let me is check out chris, the chris hemsworth is in this as well right I believe so. Yes. Yeah, I still haven't seen Mad Max Fury Road. I've I've heard so much praise on it in the last like decade. Honestly, I think that movie came out when like has it been a decade? Yeah, I think it came out in twenty fifteen or twenty sixteen or maybe fourteen. I don't even remember. Twenty fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've heard so the much same director, the same dir- director of that film, um, and who also did the original Mad Max, um, and the sequels following in the eighties, uh, George Miller. He's returning to this, so he's directing it. Mm, okay, so it's cool. all going to be probably consistent um, and and tight with all of the the story. Um, but I'm I'm just excited. I love and Mad Max. This is a prequel, whole. right? To like Fury, like it's Furiosa when she's like younger, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because in the movie Fury Road, she's like bald, doesn't have an arm, like <laughs> she's been through some shit. Um, so I'm okay. excited for this one. Hey, on that uh, same next... day, bro, we got that Garfield film, bro. Let's go. It's going to be an easy choice that day. I'm not <laughs> watching Garfield. <laughs> hey, we, you don't want to hear Chris Pratt as another animated character? Dude, he's doing too much. <laughs> Dude, he's... I, I I mean, he's a, he's definitely a good voice actor. Like, there's no, there's no lie about that. He's good. But, like, my guy. Like, this guy is... He's in everything, man. Like... I, I need to hear another voice. Like he doesn't. I don't know. Like he he's not even doing a Garfield voice, and he's just talking. He should have been John. Yeah, I. I he sounds like a John. <laughs> yeah, he a John, bro. <laughs> All right. Next, what is we got this next one, Nick. What is this? We got we got Ezra. This is a this is a documentary about Ezra Miller being Dude, rehabilitated. Stop. No, I'm just kidding. Stop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I actually threw this in as a gag. It, it's just a movie with Robert De Niro, and he's like helping his, uh, I think his grandson or like okay. his, one of his younger kids become like a stand-up comic. Yeah, uh, I I almost erased like, this one from the from the notes just because of the name. Yeah, I'm so glad you didn't. <laughs> so, no, yeah, fuck fuck ever, fuck Ezra, bro. Yo, all right, we're in June, June seventh, right off the bat, we're we're seeing a uh, ballerina, the Ana mm-hmm. de Armas uh, film that takes place in between John Wick chapter three and four. Uh, I will hey. be seated. I we I will be there. I mean, Anna's in it, and uh, and uh, Keanu Reeves is back. Oh, he's I mean, gonna be in it. Yeah, I don't think he plays a big role. It's because it's like not his film. Yeah, but since it's there. yeah, so he's gonna be in there at some point, probably like in a. And I hope it's not a cameo. Like I hope he has some purpose other than just showing up and shooting shit. But apparently, he is in it, so we'll see. I anyway. just looked on the uh, on the credits actually. So Len Wiseman is going to be directing it. He did the whole Underworld series. Mm, okay. Interesting. You better lock um, in. Moving on, we got Hitman, which is going to be on Netflix. This actually has Glenn Powell in it. I heard um, about this. And I forget who directs it. I think it's Richard Linklater, maybe. Okay. Um, it is. But yeah, it's oh, dude, that film knowledge. It's I think it's going through Kane's or it's going to go through Kane's later when when Kane's happens, um, or it just finished up like a festival run. Mm-hmm. But it's going to be on Netflix later this year. I mean, I like Glenn Powell; looks interesting. Yeah, he's got a I'll good check, agent. I'll check it out. I know, dude. Bro, <laughs> bro, bro booked him with for what was that movie? Anyone but you. Yeah, got him with Sydney. He, he was like, bro, you got to do this. <laughs> 
He's like, what's the movie? No, it doesn't matter. Sydney's in it, brother. Come on. I already signed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, uh, a week later, we get Bad Boys 4. There's um, no way they're still making these. Yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised what's going on. Why are they still, why are they still I, doing this? Is this actually going to come out? Like, I've, I, like, there's no way. I've heard nothing on this. Well, because Bad Boys 3 was Bad Boys. It was like for life or something. Bad it was Boys called for life. That. They should have. They should have used Dude, that so title because then they yeah. could have used "Bad Boys for Life" in this one. That's so the next cute. one's gonna be called "Bad Boys Five Life" or something like that. <laughs> bad Boys <laughs> Five Ever. Bad Boy, yeah, Bad Boys Five Ever. <laughs> the same Dude, day, I, yeah, I'm not gonna see this. I, I didn't even see the third one. I heard the first two are good. Like I know people like them, but there's. No I heard way, the bro. third one is bad because like. Will Smith is really trying to like be hard and shit, but uh, <laughs> his reputation's but, uh, been tarnished. But what's bro. his name? God damn it, dude! Martin Sheen. Yeah, Martin Sheen is like old now, and he's like, uh, this he's is... like, I can't, I can't run like I used to, man. Like he's he's just an old head. Wait, is it Martin Sheen? Uh, hang on, I might have fucked up his name. It's Martin something. Martin Freeman. No, wait, that's the dude from the <laughs> from the teacher movie. No, Martin Sheen is the guy from Apocalypse Now. Dude, DJ Khaled is in Bad Boys for Life. <laughs> Get the fuck out, bro. Is it Freeman? No, it's not. No, yeah, yeah it's not Martin Freeman. Dude, the fuck? I need to know now. Here, here, I got you. It's... Martin who? Dude, I keep looking up the cast for the movie, and he fucking doesn't show <laughs> He's up. He's not there, bro. He's not is in Is he it. blacklisted? <laughs> Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. Yeah, there it is. I knew it was Martin, Martin Lawrence. Jesus. Oh, All man. right, let's move on. Uh, same day, we got Pixar's Inside Out 2. I am actually excited for this. I like anything Pixar really puts yep. out. Um, New emotions dropping. Yeah. I'm got horny. <laughs> <laughs> we got Moggin. <laughs> Dude. We got Edgen. Imagine if they had... Because, like, let's keep it real. When you when you hit that hit puberty, which it looks like what this movie is going to be about, they're going a different route. I get it. It's smart. They're doing, yeah, yeah. They're doing anxiety, I believe. And some other ones. I don't remember... But I know anxiety is one of them. And it makes sense that, you know, when you reach that awkward age, you know, you would start feeling that more. But I mean, if we're keeping it real, at that age, we also start feeling horny, brother. Like, it just it just be pulling up because the hormones I mean, are going crazy in your, you. Your balls are dropping. I exactly. mean, if you're a guy. Exactly. I mean, the hormones are horrid, you know? I would love to see, like, a sausage party type movie, but it's, like, inside out. So it's, <laughs> it's like, horny. Horny yeah. shows up. Horny. Oh, my God. Dude, fuck. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> all jokes uh, aside, I'm sure it'll be good. I'll I'll be there. Yeah, Pixar, I'm Pixar, excited. Yeah. Pixar always serves, man. I, they they rarely miss. Yeah. Uh, a week later, we got the bike riders. Um, I do not know this. The name is super basic, but it's it's a film with Austin Butler, Norman Reedus, um, mm, okay. another another big actor. They're pretty much a family of bike riders and stuff. And oh, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy's in it. That's important. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, but I, I I don't think it's an A24 film. Yeah, it's not. I don't want to just say that it is. Um, but but the movie looks cool. Um, I I I low key like the the casting of it, and I mean, it sounds good. I'll be there. Okay, okay. A week uh, later, week later we're getting quiet place day one. Now let me How say something. I just saw the trailer for this, and it actually looked pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, this is the third movie in a quiet place. I guess if you want to call it a series. Uh, yeah, this in is that a prequel. Universe. Yeah, the first one was was great. I didn't see the sequel. Now this one's coming out, and it's about the day one breakout of pretty much the whole, I guess, pandemic. I don't know. Is it <laughs> the monsters. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it looks like aliens land to Earth. I when I watched the trailer, it, it has a uh, Lupita Nyong'o. Uh, yeah. She's in it. She, dude, phenomenal actress. Um, she's in New York. You see a couple of like meteors land, and then she's kind of just running to safety. Um, and I mean, it's a good, it's it's a really well done trailer. Um, I'm trying to remember who else is in it. Oh, uh, Dijmon Hansu. He's that actor that's that's goaded. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. D dude, see, uh, Joseph Quinn, Alex Wolf is in it. Uh, a couple other people. Um, I'm excited for it. Uh, honestly, a, a Quiet Place movie in New York is pretty interesting because it's like literally the loudest city in the world. Oh my god. Um. Yeah. So it'd be pretty interesting to see just how it all goes and maybe maybe get some origins on like what these monsters are. 
um yeah see I'm what interested. Maybe led up I, to it. I haven't seen the trailer i know it dropped like like what like a day or two ago a very very recent as yeah. we're recording this i'll probably watch it after um i'll probably see it i saw the first the first one's still my favorite i saw the second one as well killian murphy's in it um he's pretty solid uh but yeah i mean i didn't need a sequel but you know it was fine it, was, it wasn't bad it was just like the same thing yeah but i'm excited um, for this because it kind of changes it up but you know we get to see like the beginning yeah it's different it doesn't yeah. i guess kind of reuse the same movie yeah all right moving on to oh, july I'm we're so starting good. off strong yes sir. there's probably going to be more memes coming <laughs> uh <laughs> despicable me four yeah is dropping. um so so much has happened in these movies bro we've had minion spinoffs <laughs> uh gru's gotten married gru yep. had a brother yep um i don't know what the fuck happened i think i've actually seen the trailer for this fourth one there's a trailer already yeah oh there is yes. yeah i started it and i meant to finish it because i was out public somewhere and i couldn't watch it you were in public you were like, yeah fuck, I, was, I, I, yeah, I was like fuck i can't you watch the, it. you were at the library quiet room you yeah. were just like damn yeah, i can't watch it <laughs> um this one grew i believe has a child I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but oh my yeah, god, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. He has a kid. Yeah, you're right. He has a kid. Oh, um, dude. I mean, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, it, I'm excited. It sounds cool. I'm not even gonna lie. Right. Like these movies are genuinely like I've. They're all the first one's probably the best, but the second one, I and I don't remember too much about the third one. I just know he's got a brother in it. But I, they're genuinely, I think, pretty good family movies. I think they're good too. I think yeah. if you. If you get annoyed by the minions, then they're not for you. But yeah. I think I think they're funny as fuck. I agree. All right, All July right. 12th, we're seeing oh, there's long legs. Is this yes. another spider movie? No, 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 no. This, this is actually an incredible movie that I'm excited for. Word. This is a Nicolas Cage film. He he's acting in it. I'm sorry. Um, and it follows a detective who is following this serial killer who uh, pretty much killed like this whole family in a really horrific way um and there's a teaser they dropped i think that it's really well done i think the teaser it doesn't tell you that much but it still intrigues you kind of like how um the the skin of rink teaser did like you just kind of get the vibe of the movie yeah um but i i mean i'm excited for this uh actually after looking at it i have seen these posters like i saw these posted on instagram or something yeah the promos are cool yeah. um so I'm just excited to see like people get killed, bro. Sounds, I just love slashers. It's, it's I love I love I love thrillers, man, and and like serial killer cases and stuff when they're like put into movies like this, mm -hmm. um, and they're like into a narrative. Yeah, I, um, I, I like that. Like I really like Seven. It's one of my favorite. Oh movies. yeah, dude, Seven is so good. Yeah. All right, what's next? Um, next? next we got a movie. We can we can skip that one. I think okay. that one got left on. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what a week later, we got Twisters. This this was a sequel to Twister, yeah, which is uh, a movie that came out, I think, in the nineties or two thousand. Yeah, this maybe. is a this is an older movie. It's just about a tornado. I mean, yeah, like, so shit, bro. Is the tor there's more tornadoes? Like two two twi <laughs> two Twisters. <laughs> the tornadoes. There's back. two Twisters. <laughs> um, I don't know. I heard that the director said that. Or someone working on the film was like, it's not going to be anything like crazy, like a stupid like Sharknado sequel. Like it's still going to be grounded in reality. But I mean, I don't know. There, we'll better, be a, there just, better be a shark or something in the tornado, bro. It's a natural disaster movie, so I feel like those can always be kind of good because like, like it's actually just like the powers of nature, you know? Yeah, like, they have the potential we'll to be good. I I kind of, I kind of got my fill of them because they just started becoming so insane. Like we started off with Twister, which is plausible. And then there's the one with Tom Holland where there's like a big oh, tsunami. The Untouchables. Yeah, there's there's that, that one, is, one. That one is fucking wild. Though. Yeah, that one see, is those ones wild. are good. I like those ones. But then we got like 2012, and it's just like the fucking most insane shit you've ever seen. Okay, that's and, stupid as fuck. And then we got Geostorm, which came out a couple years back, and it's what? literally where the government controls the weather with like a big like satellite. And then the satellite gets hacked or something, and it's just causing insane fucking weather. Oh like, my god, I don't remember this stupid shit. Yeah, there's there's so many of them, and they just keep going crazier and crazier. I haven't seen any of those. They, for all I know, they could be good, but they look so fucking dumb to me. Um, they they just done too much. So 
honestly, if this one is more grounded than like insane, I might actually have a more chance of liking it. Yeah, if it's just not over the top, I think honestly, if you just keep it like bare bones and short, it could be good. Give me two twisters. All right. That's all I need. Enough. Uh, yeah, enough about <laughs> yeah, just two. <laughs> enough about twisters. Next week we got Deadpool three dropping at the end of July. Bro, I I don't think we've talked uh, much about this. I don't think we have either, but I I feel like I just I don't need to hype it up. Like I know what's coming. I know it's going to be a good movie. I know Ryan Reynolds and uh, Hugh Jackman are reuniting. Um, I'm, I'm not going to just be like I'm not going to say this is the movie that's going to like save Marvel, but hopefully it, it can make us kind of laugh a little at at the whole uh I don't know just like the situation of like the rights and and properties like coming together and clashing like i just want to see deadpool just fall through some credits and be like what the <laughs> fuck? like i just i just want to see some funny stuff like that bro where we can laugh i'm calling it right now this movie is gonna like pull marvel out of the like hole that they've, they've been in recently yeah this movie Ryan is Reynolds... gonna bring uh, it's it's this it's the meme bro where people are like like oh man like like we've fallen off so hard like we're we're so done, and then it's just like we are so back. Like it, like we we're we so get back. yeah, like we go from like the Marvels to like Loki season two, and then like mm. it, you know there's ups and downs. This is gonna be another one of those. I mean, people love Deadpool already. They like the other two movies. They like Ryan Reynolds. They love Hugh Jackman, and now they're in the MCU. Like, and I I, I feel like I, I'm I'm I don't know I like. I wouldn't be surprised if this movie, I mean, we just got the flash like last year, I think, or like, yeah. And that movie has to do with like, you know, like going in different universes a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if we get like a little, like dig at the flash, you know? Yeah. Cause, Cause this seems like Deadpool's going to be doing the same thing, going to different box type universes. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's some roasts at the flash. So, you know, I mean, I, mean, I love a good roast. So I, I mean, yeah, I'm ready. I just like seeing Deadpool just literally break the fourth wall and shit. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm excited for it. I think a couple other people from uh from either the X Men or like Fox properties are coming. I think what's your name, dude? Jennifer Garner. I think she played Elektra. People I heard were saying that, that she, too. She might pull in, uh, pull up, um, and like a, a different like uh, X Men actors. So, Dude, you know what I, I bet they do? I'm going to call it right now. If they don't do this, they're, they're missing out hard. But I bet I'm going to put two two theories out there. Um, So when Fox was still making their X-Men movies, for a long time, there was a movie that never got made. And it was in purgatory for a while. Uh, mm. It was the Gambit it. movie yeah. with Channing Tate, Tatum as Gambit. And... I feel like he's going to be in the movie. I feel like even though we haven't seen that character, we didn't get any of that. I think Ryan Reynolds will be like, bro, like let's get Gambit in here at some point And he's going to be played by Channing Tatum. Like we're, we're doing it. I bet you he does that. And another thing, this one, I would, I bet more on the Channing Tatum one. Cause this one, this would be crazy if they did this, but I know this person probably is expensive. So I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't hold my breath. There's also been a big theory. There's a character in the X-Men universe called Dazzler. And Dazzler is like a pop star, like a pop sensation that has like powers as well. And um, in the comic, she's like white and blonde. So they're like, oh, like, let's get Taylor Swift to play Dazzler. And it was like a big rumor for years. I people would go fucking crazy if they managed to pull that off. Like the Swifties are insane. If even if she's in the movie for 10 seconds, people would go and see it for her like the, the, I, but the thing is is taylor swift is fucking huge right now she's worth billions like how much would she charged for a cameo you know i mean also just like how fucking busy she is bro like her oh, boyfriend yeah. travis kelsey bro super bowls next i think this week actually i actually think that speak since we were talking about deadpool 3 i think the first trailer is going to be at the super bowl during one of the commercial breaks oh, oh really that that's what I've heard. So I'm I'm thinking, this time next week we'll we will have seen our first look at Deadpool three. Dude, I fucking hope so, bro. I'm so tired of fucking hearing about this shit. <laughs> Just give it to me. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Uh, I think we said enough on Deadpool. Yeah, I'm hyped for it. Um, I'm ready. Next up, we got oh, going into August now. We got Trap, 
Um, I actually heard about this, so I can speak on it. Okay. It's an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Um, I don't know much about it other than that it's supposed to take place in one place and it's supposed to be like a concert venue horror film. Mm, okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, Loki, that would suck being fucking stuck at a concert. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I like your buddies. M. Shyamalan. You know, he's had some hits, he's had some misses, but hey, he always he always seems to do things that are more creative than the average screenwriter or director you know he seems to fuck it up (laughs) well he's had some big hits you know he's had some big misses also so i'm i always give him a chance you know i heard the visit was good it came out last year i heard a lot i heard mostly positive things for it i haven't seen it not the visit the a knock at the cabin a knock at the cabin i saw the visit is another one yeah but i i meant to see it but i never did i just know that um dave batista's in it is the visit the one with those old people? The visit is yes, the and old like people. they're not their grandparents or some shit. Yeah, and then he also has the village. I like the village. The village. Actually. The oh, village has a twist one, yeah. in it, and it's it's not as good as the Sixth Sense twist, but it's still pretty good. Hmm. Um. Next up, we got we got a Borderlands movie. Oh, this actually has been in development for a while, so. Anyone a fan of the Borderlands games? There's a film coming out. I don't know if it's going to be theaters or like a streaming service because I would have to imagine it's backed by like a like a, a gaming company or, or something like that. But Borderlands are coming out. What, yeah, I've heard. Think, I've heard that Kevin Hart is in this, and so is Jack Black. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> so I don't know. This could either be really good or really bad. Okay, I, well, I said Jack Black, so I'm excited for that. But that's Kevin what I'm Hart, saying. I, think, I didn't know Kevin Hart was in it, bro. I think Kate Blanchett is in it as well. Okay. I could be wrong, but like I could have sworn it she I heard she was in it. Have you ever played these games? Was the Borderlands? Yeah, have you played them before? I played like one one of them. My brother's like a diehard fucking fan about them. They they um, are like they're they're fun games, I'm not gonna lie. Um hang on, let me look. Yeah, Clay, Kate Blanchett is in this. I was correct. Um, I mean, they're good games. They're way more fun to play with like a group of friends. Uh, I played the first two mostly. I kind of fell off after that. I know there's like, like four or five games, but the first two I I was really into. The second one's really fucking good. Um, I mean, this movie can be bad or good. We'll we'll, we'll see. It's gonna be either really good or really bad. I feel like no in between. Yeah, I agree. August sixteenth, um, Nick. I'm excited for this way more than Borderlands. We're getting. Alien Romulus? It's another Romulus. Alien Romulus. Maybe that's it. Uh, it's another uh, Alien film in the Alien franchise. You know, we had yeah. Alien Covenant, um, Prometheus. I kind of was phasing out of the Alien stuff, but I've heard promising things about this film, so I'm a little more intrigued than I was. Um, This one's uh synopsis is young people from a distant world must face the most terrifying life form in the universe. So I don't know if this is supposed to be like, like on earth or if they're going to like a different um, world. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm interested. It's, it's, it's caught my eye more than the most, the last few have. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I feel like at this point, this is actually not directed by Ridley Scott. So I don't know how yeah. connected it will be to the canon. Yeah. Um, Cause Ridley Scott's releasing gladiator later this year. Yes, sir. Uh, but I feel like all these movies are kind of cut and dry in terms of mm-hmm. we follow a group of people and alien fucks them up, and then we get <laughs> some kind of insight into the origins of the of the space creatures. Um, but you know, I love Alien. Maybe there'll be some cool homages. Um, yeah. and and the fact that it's not Ridley Scott, I think, kind of gives the filmmaker some freedom to just kind of make it. Yeah. His own. Have so, you seen Prometheus? Yes. Prometheus is re- is really good, honestly. Yeah. I really like Prometheus. I like um, Covenant too. Covenant was pretty good. Yeah, I I actually really like the, I forget the character's name, but he's played by um Fassbender. Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender. Yeah. yeah, that character. Yeah, his character's so in weird. both of them, I think. Yeah, he is, and it's like it's an interesting like robot robot character that I'm like not sure is he good or bad. Like, where does he lie? And I would love to see more of his character. Actually, I don't know if he's in this. I don't think he is but i don't know david that, it's david, david yeah yeah anyway david. hey the end of august we're seeing probably the next best film of the year 
Yo, what's coming up? August Craven 30th, the Hunter. Craven the Hunter, bro. This movie got delayed from October of last year to yeah. uh, dude. That is literally eight months yeah, that that's this insane. movie was. That's no, I'm sorry, ten months, bro. Ten months this movie was delayed. Yeah, that's, they they definitely had some more. I mean, they 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 delayed it and they said it was because of the the strike. But that's such a big delay that, like, I wouldn't be surprised if they were, like, also doing reshoots and stuff for this film. Yeah. Because, Ten like, is, that's, that's is a huge. Long that's time. insane. Because uh, I feel like if the strikes were going on and, and this movie was finished and I was an executive, I'd be like, let's just wait till they're over. Let's just kind of release, like, a tentative release date and then we'll drop it because, you know, it's done. Dude, I wouldn't but, even want to drop this if I was an executive. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> bro <laughs> are have you, you seen the to... trailer yeah i have it it's it's oh dude i don't even spider-man's not in it it's about craven the hunter's son but he doesn't want to kill animals so he literally doesn't want to do what craven the hunter is known for he wants i guess his dad who's played isn't his dad played by What's his name? Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe yeah. is in that guy's everyone's fucking dad, bro. Yeah, he's he's in dude. Russell Crowe is in everything, bro. Like I'm, I mean, this dude is, he pops up everywhere. He has another movie coming out this year where I think I think it's called Sleeping Dogs, mm-hmm. and he's like a detective with amnesia, and oh, he's supposed to solve cases to like kind of help with his uh his brain condition, but that's also this year, so he's mm-hmm. in that. Okay. Well, anyway, I, we've said too much on this. Sony just needs to get rid of the Spider Man rights. Like they're they're pumping out stuff like this i i will not be seated i i agree um now that you reminded me you refreshed my memory with the trailer it does kind of like strip everything away from the trailer uh or of the character like who he kind of just is he's just a hunter yeah he wants to collect every species like he's kind of like the human version of a predator yeah so it's kind of it's kind of weird how i don't know in the trailer like he doesn't even want to kill and he's like i don't want to be like my dad and then and then, like the whole, the whole little tagline of the movie is "villains aren't born, they're made." So yeah, it's like, like how the student how is, a villain, bro? How is he supposed to be like one of those anti-heroes? Dude, if, that, I don't know. that's all Sony's doing. They're not, they're they're not making villain movies. They're making anti-hero movies and just making all the villains anti-heroes. Like, oh, dude, it. We we've said we've given them too much spotlight, bro. What what's next? Okay, uh, going into September. We got Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yes, Beetlejuice this is a sequel too. to Beetlejuice. Yeah, I saw they um, officially made the title Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah, I that was honestly, cool. I love it because uh, I mean, it's literally in, it's the second movie. Yeah, two Beetlejuices. Michael yeah, Keaton's coming back. Uh, Tim Burton is also returning to direct. So I think that's all I really need to know. Yeah, Jenna I love Michael Keaton this as well. Really? Yeah, she. I think she's playing the daughter of um, Winona Ryder's character. Oh, okay, okay. I think that's, I'm guessing that's what it's going to be, because I think she's probably in it, I would imagine. That makes sense, because Tim Burton did Wednesday. Yeah, he so. did. Yeah, when Oda Ryder's back, she's going to be playing Lydia again. Oh, it says Monica Belu- Belushi is in this, who actually Tim Burton what? just um married her. That's probably why she's in this. What? He it says just Monica married? Belushi is playing Beetlejuice's wife. Jeez. Yeah, her and Tim Burton just recently married, I believe, if I'm correct. Hey, that'll bring you back to back to make films, bro. It'll lock you back in. He's like, damn, I gotta get back at it. <laughs> um uh, Oh, we're getting September thirteenth, Transformers one. Oh. This is the animated movie, correct? Yeah, so this is an animated version uh of a Transformers film set on Cybertron. And dude, it's actually exactly what we were asking for last year when we were yeah. reviewing Transformers. We were like, I wish they would just make a movie that's animated and on Cybertron. That's what this, <laughs> that's what this is. Yeah, I believe um, Chris Hemsworth is voicing. Is it Optimus? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So let me go through the cast. It's got okay. Scarlett Johansson, John Hamm, uh, Chris Hemsworth, Keegan Michael Key, Lawrence Fishburne, Brian Tyree Henry. It's a pretty stacked cast. Um, and yeah, hopefully I I just want them to make a great Transformers movie. I think the fact that the cast for the voice is already solid, um, I think that it's probably going to be phenomenal. All that matters to me now is the animation style, which I don't think is that hard to do for Transformers. I agree. 
if you go with the more retro one, like I think it's cool, but you know, I wouldn't mind a more modern kind of take on it. I like when they have like a the same vibe like of the retro, but there's like updated animation styles and techniques. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I just hope they don't like I mean, this would still look good, but like everybody's doing this now where they kind of try and like copy the Spider-Verse animation. Um, yeah, it'll be like a little like they did that with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie last year, which it's not exactly like it, but it's definitely heavily inspired by it. I don't mind it. I actually do like the animation style. I give the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie a pass because it's it's not a direct copy of it. Like, it seems like they changed it up enough, in my opinion. But like the animation is very clearly inspired by Spider-Verse. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what's next, Nick? All right, next we got Wolves. Um, I don't know much about this movie. I just know that it's kind of an action movie with Brad Pitt and George Clooney. Yeah, I didn't um, even know about that until I looked at this list. I saw a couple of... Oh, and also one more thing. John Watts directed the entire uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man trilogy. He's directing this. Oh, okay. Um, That's interesting. Yeah. So, you know, it sounds pretty cool. Um, I think they're they're both like... The synopsis right here says it follows two lone wolf fixers who are assigned to the same job. So I, mean, I liked John Watts's uh, Spider-Man trilogy. So I, I'm I'd be and I like uh, Brad Pitt and I don't even think I've seen Clooney in a movie. If I'm being honest, dude, The Flash. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. He was <laughs> in The Flash. Yeah, I dude. guess I saw him as Batman. That's all I've seen him in. But I mean, hey, I mean, it sounds interesting. Maybe I'll. I'll I'll pop in, pop my head in. I might check it out. Yeah. All right, and then at the end of September, we got another Saul movie. Did it one just uh, come out last year? They they just keep making these, bro. This is this, insane. I, this has to be the last one because I know John <laughs> Kramer came back. Um, the last one is a prequel. It takes place in between Saul one and two. Yeah. So um, is this one like another prequel, or is like I it, it must be right? Because I mean spoiler alert but like john kramer dies in like the fourth or fifth one yeah and then he has like cancer yeah like the reason he, the whole yeah. reason he's doing this is to like play god and get back at people that wrong yeah him. exactly and so he's been but like they there's like seven or eight of these and so like four of them take place after he's dead so like how if he's 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 in this we like i know he's in it tobin bell is in this but like how is are they gonna bring him back or are they gonna like do another they must be another prequel right i don't know bro all i know is that they're just they're gonna keep dragging out the saw name they're milking it because i know i know one day that actor is gonna pass away and they're still gonna make another one yeah they're gonna get the cg they're gonna get the deep fake of him and they're gonna put it on they're somebody. gonna cg, I would CG like to play a game. yeah they're gonna do it jeez uh, october 4th the first movie of october is a sequel to joker it's joker folly adu Holly Adu. So this, I've heard that this one is supposed to be a musical, and that really worries me, bro. <laughs> I I'm excited to see Joaquin back. I'm interested to see Lady Gaga's take on Harley Quinn. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if it being a musical is gonna take me out of it because the first one is so like surreal, um, and just like in your face about like the subject matter is talking about. I feel like if they just started singing and dancing. <laughs> It would have to be done right because, like, of course, both characters are delusional. And at the very end of Joker, he kind of accepts, like, what he is. So maybe yeah. they'll feed more into that. But I don't know. Right now, I'm, like, I'm excited to see it, but I'm worried because I'm, like, I hope this doesn't ruin the first one for me. Yeah, I, I'm definitely intrigued. Uh, the musical does have me a bit worried as well. But I am optimistic, optimistically intrigued more so than I'd say I'm worried because I think this could be – this definitely is not going to make another billion. There's no way. Like if it does, if it did, that's gonna that'll be crazy. Like the Dude, the I fact that the other one made a billion. The fact that it made a billion is insane. Like it's a good movie. Don't get me wrong, but like, you know, like it, it's like it's not as bad as Aquaman. Like Aquaman made a billion too, and I'm like, damn, Aquaman made a billion. Like I would put Joker above Aquaman, but like I don't know. It's still like shocking to me. You know, like yeah. pe people went to the theaters. I guess. It's crazy. Anyway. I mean, even my parents saw it, which I was surprised by. True. 
Um, next same day as Joker, we got this film called White Bird. So um, I've not heard of this. Is is this one that you put on? I don't know. I'm or looking at this, it right is now. It, or is this a skip? It looks like <laughs> it might be a skip, bro. It's got <laughs> Hel- it's got <laughs> it's, it's got Helen Moren. It's got Helen Moren. Um, it looks like a fantasy movie because it's it's by the same the person who wrote Wonder. Do you remember that movie? It was like a kid so. that had like a deformed face and like oh yeah like people made him feel bad at school. Um, yeah. But yeah, we can probably skip. Yeah, this is skip. Uh, we know we'll be watching on October fourth. Oh, Smile Two. October eighteenth. Um, yeah, Smile Two. Uh, we were just talking about this before we started recording. I finally yeah. watched Smile. I as well. Yeah, so I mean, I think it's I, a good movie. I do. I agree. Um, Josh was saying, so you got a critique saying that you wanted to see more of like what the entity, like where it came like from. Like, yeah, the origins of it, because I, it seems like they started down the, like the, the protagonist was going through her objectives, you know, trying to like solve the, try and save her life pretty much, and figure out like if I, like if I could figure out more about this thing, maybe I can save myself, but it seems like they kind of ran out of ideas or at least that's like how it seemed because they kind of just like didn't go anywhere with that. They just kind of hit a dead end and then the movie ends like 20 yeah. minutes later after like, you know, the last part happens. But I, I like the, the, the design of the entity. I like the way it looks when we finally see it at the end. I think it's a scary design. I like the design. Um, so I'm just hoping that this one dives more into that because that's where I feel this movie could have been, the other movie could have been better. Yeah. So this one has to be either a sequel or a prequel. So we'll see. Yeah. Either I one like, I'd be fine with. Yeah. A sequel would be cooler, but I feel like another thing that also caught me about the first one was it also had Kevin Bacon's daughter in it. And oh, I was really? like, oh, I, I was that. like, hell yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm excited for it. October twenty fifth, uh, we're getting it. Terrifier three. Dude, we're getting another Terrifier movie. Have you seen any of them? No, but I saw a scene. I I looked it up and like literally the Terrifier like cuts this dude's dick off as he's peeing outside his car. Damn. Yeah, like, I've just, heard these movies are like very yeah. gory, very graphic. Yeah. Like these movies um, are the epitome of blood and gore of like the modern horror era. It's yeah, it's literally like Pennywise. But if he was like a just a crazy ass, t- it's like the you know the 2016 like clown pandemic. That's what these <laughs> movies kind of remind me of. Yeah. It's like, what if you just ran into one of these clowns and they just fucking killed you? What's interesting about this one though is this terror, the Terrifier three. I'm surprised it's releasing in October. Actually, I guess it makes sense because it is a horror movie at the end of the day. But right. it's it's a horror Christmas movie. Mm. There's a little teaser out right now for this. Uh, trailer and it shows a little girl waking up like christmas eve and she goes down and looks like she sees santa putting presents down um and she like says oh santa and then like we see the angle from santa's face and it's actually the terrifier and it's the oh uh, yeah i think his name is like Artie. yeah arnie one of the pictures of him i'm looking at it right now yeah one of the uh posters has him like wearing like santa's face cut off like around his neck and he's Jeez. got like you know blood and guts like are the ornaments for the Christmas tree. So, Damn. I mean, I I love me a good uh scary movie that takes place during a holiday. You know, I think it's a cool like. I actually I like any movie that does that. I love when they, you know, it just gives the world more life when it's like oh shit like it's it's a holiday even if they. Like, you know what I mean? When the movie isn't necessarily about Christmas or about Thanksgiving or about whatever holiday. Yeah. But it just so happens to, like, pass by that it's holiday. It's got, like, a good aesthetic to the movie. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I get so, what you're saying. I haven't seen any of the Terrifiers, but I do plan on seeing them because I, I'll i probably see this. So I'll see them by the by the time this comes out. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next. this We could probably skip this one. Um... It's a movie called oh, Wolfman. Yeah. The only thing I know about it is the guy who's directing it, he actually starred in the first Saw movie, I believe. Oh, really? Um, which is funny because we're talking about it. Yeah, he was he was one of the dudes that was like chained to the uh inside the bathroom. Oh, was he the uh I think he's the guy that had to cut his foot off. No, I think he's I the guy know. that didn't cut his foot off. Yeah. 
anyway it, it doesn't matter but um yeah <laughs> i i mean i like i the sony dark universe is like dead i think this is kind of like a they're they're trying to they're trying to start over you know they're trying to fix themselves because they jumped the gun last time yeah they're like fuck yeah um, the, these next couple things are, I think it's four. We have four TV shows that don't have a release date. We just say they we're like aware that they're coming out pretty probably late 2024. Let's go. I'm actually very excited for the last one on the list, but let's go mm, okay. through the other ones first. Well, so we got the Penguin, um, which is pretty much a sequel to the Batman. Uh, it's taking place in the Matt Reeves Batman universe. It's just going to follow, uh, you know, Colin Farrell's Penguin, I guess following the ending events of the Batman and we see the penguins rise to in the criminal underworld, I guess. Yo. One thing that I'm interested in is, is based on um, casting. I think they casted someone to play Carmine Falcone's daughter. And so I'm interested to see how that comes into play. And I think they casted the, the uh, wife from or like the girlfriend from how i met your mother like the one that he ends up getting with finally oh shit i can't remember her name but she's been in other things as well uh mil uh, she was in christy springs yeah yeah that's her name so yeah i'm excited i'm excited to see that i mean i love the batman and i i can't wait to see that world again and honestly this this will just be a good little teaser for the batman next year to hold us over yeah, I agree. Oh my god, it's gonna go hard. Um, next we got the Acolyte series, the Star Wars series that was announced a while ago. Yeah, we don't uh, know anything about this really. As far yeah, as I, I don't know. know if this is even like live action or fucking. I think what? it's live action. I don't. I don't know what it's okay. about. Um, but apparently it's coming out this year. We've we've heard and seen close to nothing on it, so we'll see if if that's true. Dude, by the end of the year. I know back then when it got announced, I think uh, Squid Games was a big thing. Damn. And the main actor Lee Jung Jae, he was uh-huh. he's casted in this. Oh, really? So he's gonna pull up, yeah. Okay, that's well, all that, I really that's know. That's interesting, about it. then. Uh, yeah, it'll, after it'll that, probably be on Disney Plus. It will be, yeah. Um, after that, we're gonna get the official first, um, I guess, introduction to the new DCU, the James Gunn and Peter Safran DCU. We're getting Creature Commandos, dude. Let's go. Which is a animated show. Um, I'm interested in the, I guess the show, I mean, I'm, I'm excited for Superman to kick off, you know, the live action stuff, but I mean, I'm, I'm just ready for DC to like be, be good and have consistent like arcs and like stuff that carry over the way Marvel has, you know, I want to see DC do that. You know, yeah. we, we got I'm like, for this. we got a glimpse of it in the, in the DCU, the Snyder verse, but like so many things were clearly like inconsistent and things changed movie to movie. Like it was so obvious. Whereas like in Marvel, you can tell that they planned it out. Um, so I'm excited to see the start of this. Uh, and yeah, what's the, what's the last one, Nick? Last series we got is welcome to dairy. This is going to be on HBO max. Um, it's going to be like a, I don't know if it's a mini series or it's just going to be like a season one type series. And you're going to see how, yeah. it, how it fares, but it's from the world of it. Uh, Stephen King's movies. I know we got the miniseries that came out in the 90s, and then we got the two movies that came out, um, I think one in 2017, and the next one was 2019. Um, so we might see more Pennywise. Might just see some uh, a lot of bloody, weird things. I like the It movies. I think the first one has done very well. So yeah, I agree. And I honestly like when they don't make a movie you know, just like an unnecessary sequel, but this is more of like a, a small TV show you can watch on streaming. That kind of yeah. just builds out the world more of, of Stephen King. And yeah. I always just love seeing Stephen King's works be put to like television or film. I agree. I'm I'm excited yeah. for this. I actually forgot that they were making this. Same. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited that it's finally coming out. Let's go. All right, November All right. first release in November on the eighth. We're see there's the amateur. I don't know what this is, Nick. Let's see what is this is. a skip or <laughs> no, it's not. It has oh, Rachel not. Brosnan. Okay. She's gonna be in uh in James Gunn's DCU. Oh uh okay. it's directed by James Hawes. He's he's done a couple movies, done some Black Mirror episodes, uh worked on the Snowpiercer TV show. Um, all it says is it follows a CIA cryptographer who manages to blackmail his agency into training him to let 
let him go after a group of terrorists who killed his wife. Hmm, so okay. I guess it's some dude just chasing after these people who killed his wife. Okay. And uh, and he's an amateur. <laughs> I guess it sounds so. kind of fun. Uh, same day we got Venom three coming out. Dude, there's no Josh's still making these, bro. Dude, I'm, I'm the surprised last... these do good. Like I really I'm still am. Fucking pissed that in at the end of the second one he gets sent to Tom Holland's world, and then <laughs> they do nothing about that, bro. He gets sent, then he goes to the bar, then he gets sent back. Yeah. Do you think they're even going to address it, or do you think they're just gonna like act like that didn't happen? Maybe like, oh, that was weird. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I I wouldn't be surprised if they don't even mention it. Like, there's just nothing. Like, no, no mention that they went to a whole other fucking universe or anything. It's just like, what the fuck was the point of that, bro? The only thing it did was like leave a piece of the symbiote in that world. So I guess now, at some point, we're gonna get the black suit with Tom Holland. Hmm. That's all it did, which they didn't even need to do that. We could have, yeah, we could have got the symbiote, symbiote. yeah, in, in, in a completely different from way. Space. Yeah, exactly. They could have just given it to him when when they do Secret Wars, which seems like what they're still going to do because that's how we got it in the comic anyway. Yeah, I don't know. It it's seems weird. like Sony was just like, oh, like you better put us in the the movie, and then Marvel was like, okay, like Kevin we'll... Feige's like, all right, all right, you'll get a cutscene. Yeah, like, it seems it really Best seems like that, bro. It really seems like they're like, they they're they're having like forced like inclusion so that Marvel Studios can keep using Spider Man. I think you're right. Yeah, they're like, we can't make a Spider Man movie. Put us in yours. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, um, Damn. I'm, I'll I'll see it because we have the podcast and because I've seen the other ones. But yeah, I I'm just movie. so surprised that they these two are like. A, like done well you know what i mean like like they're not bad they're just like like i can get why people would inter- be entertained by it but it's like it's not really venom like it's so different from like it's it's its own thing almost like it's not he, spider venom is literally created because of spider-man so like i don't even like they could have made this and just not called it venom called it something else but like i don't know bro like if people like it but i i do not Bro, do you think Madam Web is gonna connect to Venom? I I think I think so. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> there's probably Lefty. gonna be a post credit scene of Venom in it, honestly. Or if there isn't, it, there's gonna be a Craven post credit scene, and then Craven will have the Venom post credit scene. I want to see Venom eat Sydney Sweeney. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see him kill her. God, bro. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i didn't uh, see venom kill somebody bro because this dude like any i don't even want to talk about it bro yeah getting hyped <laughs> um same day we got red one uh this is it's not that weird it's dropping in november but you know it's the holiday season we got a christmas movie with the rock we thought it was gonna drop last christmas yeah i remember him talking about this i think it was supposed to but i guess it got delayed probably damn I mean, yeah, this is. I guess this what is else like. What can I say? It's I mean, exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> the Rock said he's gonna. He's a serious actor now, and he's starting with doing an A twenty four film, bro. So oh, I guess four. Apparently, he's he's been cast in an A twenty four film. So hopefully, they, but this they, isn't. This, this isn't is not it. Like, no, no, this is okay, not. Okay, it, no, this is his last like Rock movie before he said, "Oh, I'm I'm gonna be a serious actor now. I'm gonna lock in finally." Um, hey, this actually has um. Chris Evans and uh, J.K. Simmons. Yeah, J.K. Simmons. I think J.K. Simmons is Santa. Interesting, bro. We'll see. We'll see what it's about. I don't know. It could. It has the potential, and I think actually our, I think our friend uh, Raku worked on this film. Oh really? I think so. I think that's how I heard some stuff. I spoke to him on it. Yeah. Shout out Raku. Yeah. All right. Uh, skipping way past uh to the near end of November. November 22nd, we got Gladiator 2. Ridley Scott uh, has returned to direct this. I I haven't seen the first one in such a while, a long time. I need to yeah. rewatch it. I but... saw it when I was like probably like 10. Like it's been it's been a long yeah. time. Um, dude, I wonder if Russell Crowe returns for this shit too. <laughs> I know, right? The He's just, just all everything. fat. <laughs> hey, they're gonna bring him back. Um, I'm I'm excited. This is it's not too often that like a movie like gladiators made you know with like where it's like 
a very iconic film and then they actually go and make a sequel that's with the original like director a lot of times it's like the studio did it and they like got a a random director to kind of do their studio thing for it and they don't really have the approval of the original director you know but with this one they have ridley scott so i'm more interested in it than i would have been if they did not have him yeah i'm just excited to see a, a period piece of movies when gladiators were like existing bro like oh, that yeah. was such a fucking crazy <laughs> time bro humans would literally sit in the stands and watch people fight to the death with like swords like yes, it sir. can't get more game of thrones than that baby yeah, that's crazy I'm excited. Um, yeah. Next up, we got Moana 2. So I added this on the list. This was literally announced today, like the day we're filming this. Damn. So for somehow, I guess they've been working on this and no one knew. And now it's coming out the end of this year. That's interesting because um, I was looking, I saw a TikTok mm-hmm. and it was talking about the most streamed movies, I think for Disney. Uh-huh. And last year, Moana was like number one. Wow! In terms of like streamed hours, it's a good Disney movie. I like it. The Rock, <laughs> The Rock's actually in it. Um, it is. It's. I just like the vibe of it, like a Hawaii themed kind of um, Disney princess. Yeah. So, honestly, I wouldn't mind a, a second Moana. Um, you know, I mean, you got to feed the kids of this generation with with more animated movies, and you know why not? I still haven't um, yet to see the first one all the way through. Bro. So I'll have, <laughs> I'll have to finish it before this comes out. That's crazy. Nick, I'm a little confused at the next one on the list, and I left it on there because I thought you might have something in store. Yeah, so The Incredibles, apparently there's supposed to be an Incredibles 3 coming out, which is really? wild. Um, there's no I, way I w- that's true. I want to take this with a grain of salt. Um, I think it might have just snuck up on there and some like bullshit. Because <laughs> I've heard nothing at all about this. And like, I've been on, dude, we'd be on film Twitter like a lot. Yeah. I feel so like this, if this was announced, like, we would hear about it. Yeah. Clicking on the IMDb page, it looks very, very empty. There's not even like a production date. All there is is a is a writer and a director, and it's just some lady. Okay. She could have low key just made this herself, bro. She's like, yeah, I'm working. Oh, uh, I'm like, I got you. <laughs> it's coming out, trust. Um, so yeah, I mean, we I'd can like skip to that see one. another one, but. I don't think I, this is real. I okay. would too, but yeah, I don't think this is legitimate. Okay. Um, and then next we got Wicked Part One. So this is supposed to be, uh, Wicked is a is a Broadway play. Yeah. And this is supposed to be, I think, a film that kind of translates that into a movie. Um, and so it follows the the Wicked Witch of the West. Um, and it's the first part of a two two part feature film adaptation. Um, so there's going to be a second one, of course, but yeah, pretty much wicked put into a movie. So I don't know if anyone's seen the, seen the play. I heard it's pretty, it's pretty gas. A lot of people talked about it. I heard a lot of talk about it. So yeah. Cool. Okay. December 13th, we're getting an animated, the Lord of the Rings, the war of Rohirrim. Rohirrim. I don't know. I'm excited for this, bro. It's got Brian Cox. It's (laughs) got... It's got Lorraine Ashbourne. It's got a bunch of good ass. Okay, I can't recognize anyone. The only person I recognized was Brian <laughs> Cox. He's from Succession. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, what do you, I now that you just said it was animated? I had no idea it was. Yeah, I'm pretty um, sure it's animated. I remember hearing something about that. I'm excited about this. I like Lord of the Rings. It's a good franchise. Honestly, the fact they're going the animated route is interesting because they could do some really cool things with like world building that they, they couldn't could. do with on like the the live action. And I believe this takes place like 200 years before like the main Lord of the Rings story. So we'll see what they do with that. Uh, December 20th, we're getting a another live action Lion King, Mufasa the Lion King. I believe this is a like a Mufasa origin story or we see how Scar got his scar type shit, you know? Mufasa origin. <laughs> I think oh, that's what it is, right? This sounds crazy. But I I'm looking at it right now and it says it's directed by Barry Jenkins, who he did Moonlight, which is I mean, of course, like an incredible film. Yeah. Um, so it kind of got me a little bit more hype for that. I mean, I don't know, it could be good. It looks like Seth Rogan's returning for Pumba. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I'm so I'm not gonna matters. lie, I I'm not a big fan of the 
quote unquote live action remake of Lion King because it's not even live action. It's like they just made the animals look real, which kind of like takes away their expressions because like how the fuck is a lion gonna smile? You know what I mean? Um, so I'm not a big fan of it, and plus it's like I'm, it's the exact same story. I I I don't mind remakes and but I, I prefer when they're like when there's like a reason for it being remade you know what i mean like it's it seems like they were just doing it to do it so for this though i'm a little bit more intrigued because this is i believe an original story there isn't a there is a lion king sequel um but i don't believe there's a lion king prequel so this seems like they're actually doing something new so this I don't mind since it's like an original story. I'm excited now. Yeah, I'm excited too. Um, I trust Barry Jenkins. Um, I do as well. I'm, I'm sure he'll do a good job. Uh, same day, we got Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Yes, sir. I almost watched the second one sometime last year. Like, I think I just put it on and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I want to watch Sonic 2. You know, Jim Carrey. I still but gotta, I, I still got I turned it. it off. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't finish watching it. But it's crazy they're on the third Sonic movie, bro. They are. You this know what's one even is crazier? To... What? So Jim Carrey announced his retirement from acting after the second one. And he said, but he did say, like, if there's some golden script that, like, brings him out, he's like, then he's like, I'll probably come back. And just a few days ago, they announced that Jim Carrey's back for Sonic the Hedgehog 3. <laughs> So I guess this movie's, uh, according to Jim Carrey, what he said, this this is supposed to be the best script of all time. Like this movie is like worth coming out of retirement. Dude, either okay, it's either got to be that because come on, dude, this is the third Sonic movie. <laughs> it's either that or he just really enjoys playing uh Professor Egghead that much. I think he might honestly because he does a good job at it. Like he's, I saw the first one. I haven't seen the second one, but I remember he was like the best part of that movie. Dude, yeah, I, I will say, yeah. Um, I mean, Loki, I might watch this if I get to watching the second one. Uh, yeah, we should I've, Loki review them, bro. We should we review should. all the Sonic ones with Mike and just talk about like Nintendo <laughs> movies in general. Because I had Loki, a, I mean, I'm they, sorry, Sonic is Sega. Sega, but yeah. Still, I had a moment where I almost watched the second one as well, like you. But then I kind of like, I turned it on and I turned it off, and I was like, uh, like next time, you know, like, I, I didn't do it. I said not today. <laughs> All right, Nick, we've made it to the final day of releases, December 25th of this coming year. Bro, let's go. We got the Karate Kid. Now, this one I think we spoke on in the news section, I believe, like in a past episode. Yeah. Uh so this is yeah, you say it. It's um Ralph Macchio and yes. um Jackie Chan. They're mm-hmm. coming together to make a Karate Kid movie. Uh, we know Ralph Macchio. He's he's like sixty, bro, but he looks like forty. It's kind of scary. Yeah, um, he's got good genes. Yeah, he's got really good genes. And also, Cobra Kai is is a series that was picked up by Netflix a couple years ago, and it's doing insanely well. The last season, I think, actually comes out this year. Oh wow! Um, if we don't, if we were talking on TV shows, yeah. But him and Jackie Chan, they're making a new Karate Kid movie. They they even did this huge announcement where they were giving people the chance to cast themselves and like yeah. be the karate kid, Nick, which is trying to cool. be the karate kid, bro. Dude. How much the bag, you know, how much am it? I getting paid? You know, you know, any karate? Nah, Damn. all I know is all I know is drill. <laughs> they got to make like a, like the drill kid or something. The, the, the <laughs> it's, drill and it's kid. like the exact plot of karate kid, except it's will, like, it's drill and like, I will teach you how to yeah. drill. <laughs> that show would be actually kind of funny wax on jack off jack off <laughs> <laughs> it's like what does this have to do with anything god he's teaching you how to oh. flip bro he's teaching you how to spin jeez bro <laughs> so, speaking Dude, on the karate kid make that, bro. let me write that down I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get to work on it later <laughs> um, one thing I didn't say last time we spoke on the karate kid is people are probably going to assume like how can you know, Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan be in the same movie. But in the new Karate Kid, Jackie Chan doesn't play Mr. Miyagi. His character is just named Han. Like, he's yeah. just a regular dude. And then Ralph Macchio was trained by Mr. Miyagi, which is, of course, like a whole other character. Um, so, you know, it makes sense for them to, I guess, I guess they're in the same universe. That has to be. 
Yeah, I'm, um, I'm interested to see that. Like, that actually makes it kind of more interesting because I've yeah. seen both. I prefer the original one. I don't have. I don't think the sec the the. I guess the soft reboot is bad. Um, it's 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 good. I guess like I remember I remember enjoying it, but I just I love the original. Like it's such a classic, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited. The fact that they're like connecting them like makes it more interesting for me. Word. All right, um, final movie, Nick. Let's 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 round this thing out. Last movie, the um, Christmas Day. I didn't mention that Karate Kid came out Christmas Day. Yep. But so does this movie. I'm actually very excited now that we got to this final movie. We're we're gonna talk about Nosferatu. Yes, sir. This is a a gothic tale, uh, I guess of a woman being haunted by a vampire, who's in love with her. I think it's supposed to be inspired by Dracula. Um. The Tales of Dracula. It's got Craven the Hunter. Um, I mean Aaron Taylor Johnson. It's got Willem Dafoe, <laughs> uh, Emma Corrin, uh, Nicholas Holt. Dude, that guy does not miss. Bro, that dude uh, was in a Vampire movie Guard, last year too. Lily Rose Depp. Dude, he was, wasn't he? <laughs> he was like, let me give you one more. Yeah, yes, sir. So I'm excited for this as well. I who's directing it? I believe it's a. I got it, one left in me. Oh, yeah, Robert Eggers. Yeah, yeah. So that that's what got me interested because I was like, oh shit, like actually, like, yeah, he did he did the lighthouse, the witch, and the northman. Exactly. Which are all like hyper aesthetic, like period piece movies. Yeah. So, so I'm very excited. The only thing that I'm a little disappointed is originally Anya Taylor Joy was slated to be in this, but she dropped out because of scheduled conflicts. So now they have Lily Rose Depp instead. And I'm not hating on Lily Rose. I'm just saying, like, when you could have had Anna Taylor Joy, like, she's so good. Like, she's like top tier right now, and like actresses you can get. So, like, the fact that we had her, but then we let her, like, she had to, like, she couldn't do it is a little disappointing. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'll still be seated. I, I, I love agree. Robert Edgar's movies. Yeah, damn, that sucks, dude. I really, I mean, because she was in The Northman, I believe. She was in North, but she was also in The Witch. Um, another A twenty. Wait, is this A twenty four? I don't even know if most for us. No, I don't. I don't think so. I just know like uh, some of the other uh, ones were the lighthouses. Yeah, it might be honestly because they they work with him. I don't think the Northman was, but I know the lighthouse and the witch. Yeah, were yes. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm excited for it. Um, I'm actually looking online. There's a couple stills. Um. There's one of Lily Rose Depp, uh, Willem Dafoe. Dude, he looks so unhinged. Maybe uh, I can post these to the Instagram later to share with y'all, but yes, sir. I'm excited for this movie. Um, there's it's actually not. a lot of heat coming out, dude. There's there is, honestly. throughout the year. Each month has its own kind of big movie coming out. That's that's what I love to see. You know, if, if at least each movie or each month has one movie that I can look forward to, I mean, that's what you love to see. This last year, though, there was like, Every month seemed to have like two, three, sometimes more movies that I'm like, oh shit, I'm interested in that. Yeah. But Let's, I'm still excited. Let me, look up, let me see if there's any TV shows that we maybe missed. We only really spoke about. Well, there's The couple. Boys. I don't know if we spoke on it, but I know The Boys is coming out at some point this year. Um, There's the no boys. official release date. So season four of The Boys is coming out. Invincible, uh, Bridgerton. The second half. Okay, oh, yeah. Bridgerton. Second half I only say that because. Yeah. I'm I'm actually very excited for Invincible. That that's actually in March. It that's is pretty in March. soon. That is soon. I'm excited. Um, I actually heard recently. I think this has already come out, but True Detective Night Country. Um, oh yeah, I've heard that, about that. It has Jodie Foster in it. A lot of people are saying that that's phenomenal. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um. I think that's all I can really think of, honestly. Yeah, I mean, we we've pretty much got everything in here. Yeah. All right, Nick, before we sign off, this has been a long episode. We've gone through a lot of movies. I want I want you to tell me if you could just watch one of the releases coming out this year, what are you picking? Damn, dude, that's a big question. Yeah, yes, sir. Let me gotta... let me scroll through the list because I'm trying to think, do I want to watch like a good scary movie or like just a funny movie that that just seems like a good pick? I agree. All right, let me pick one TV list, show and bro. one movie. Okay. Well, my TV show, I think it's probably going to be Welcome to Dairy. Mm, okay. I'm hyped for that. And if I had to pick a movie, 
Damn, dude, this is hard, bro. If I had to pick a movie, I think I'm going to go with Bad Boys. Fi- no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, my movie would probably be Transformers 1. Mm, okay, interesting. All right, well, you know I'm going straight to Craven. No, nah, nah, I'm not doing that. Uh, hey, what TV about Roadhouse? Show? Roadhouse Dude, is right oh, there, man. Roadhouse is... Oh, man, I really want to see Roadhouse. Roadhouse looks stupid fun, bro. It looks Oh, really or what about good. Civil War? I've totally skipped past Civil War. There's a lot of good stuff coming out, honestly. Uh, for the movie, I think... I Or the TV show, I mean, I'm probably going to watch The Penguin. I just... I love the Batman so much. I'm, like, dying to get back into that universe. So I would... I'm excited for The Penguin. If I could pick one movie... Roadhouse is really like close. I'm I Nosferatu also sounds very interesting. I mean Joker, Folly Ado, like but all of those are up there for me. Um but I I honestly think I mean this this is kind of like the expected answer, but I feel like if I had the option of all these, I would not be able to skip this. I, I'm gonna have to pick Deadpool 3. Like I know it's like the Damn. it's like the nerd comic book like <laughs> like answer. And like, there's a lot of movies coming out that are probably going to be better films than it. But like, I just can't miss out on seeing the dumb fun, the dumb action, the like funniness of like Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds finally Deadpool and Wolverine together. Like, I just have to see it, you know. I almost picked that too, just because it does seem like a very fun movie. Yeah, I just know I'm gonna. Pick. I know I'm gonna be smiling throughout that film, you know. I'll say that my my film that I would swap it out with has to be Minions. The, or Despicable Me, I'm sorry. Despicable Me, not the Minions movies. If I would have to swap mine out, it would be either Roadhouse or Nosferatu, I think. I'm really yeah. excited for those two. I'd say Roadhouse 2. Roadhouse 2 looks good. It does. Damn. All right, All right man. There's a lot of stuff. Damn, that was 2024. Uh, we gotta Let's wrap it up quick so we can get this thing done in under two hours. No way, bro. It's an hour 56 recording right now. So, so we, we barely made it under two. How was um, it that long, dude? There was a lot of fucking movies, bro. And we we were we skipped through like a lot of them too. We yeah, sped I feel through. like we I feel like we were speeding it. We were all right. All right well, <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> let, anyone. hey, anyone that listened and still here, uh, go in the comments if you're on YouTube. If you're on Spotify, you could. I think there's like usually a poll or an answer you could respond to. Let us know what your favorite movie or what you what are you most excited to see this year, like 2024, as we look ahead uh if you are not already make sure to follow or subscribe um Mm -hmm. all of our stuff is down in the description below and yeah everything's there uh make sure to leave a like and leave a review and yeah we'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye